nigga get stuck in your head now. Y'all ready? Come on, everybody. One, two, three. Where you go, bro? Hey. <laughs> What I do, how I fill it out. All you need is like one or two forms of ID. Yeah. And a checking account. They cash your check for free. What? And they don't even charge no overdraft fee. No, oh, you bullshit. And they be like, hold up, bro. Let me see. <laughs> and they know that all of my bills late. I called the bank and they be like, oh, you still straight? <laughs> like, yeah. Can you just hold them charges? They was like, hold on. We can't hold no charge. Hey, hey. hey man, welcome back to the Impact Section. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you know this, but uh, we recently discovered that uh, citizens trust got a bank. Yeah. Oh, and it's ran by some black folks. Citizens trust got a bank. And it ran by some black folks. A couple of light skinned people. <laughs> Kill the music, man. We gotta, get, we gotta do this right. Do this shit this, right. I'm Hold excited, up. bro. Get my boy. Come on, man. Come on. You already know. What this we doing? Mr. Eric Wilson, man. Sing your vice. Oh, gee, got the khakis on. He ain't bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got them banking pants on. What's happening, man? Hey, man. Glad to be here. Hey, man, Absolutely. we're glad to have you, man. We're glad to see you over there doing your thing, handling business professionally. We ain't here clowning, man, but you do your thing over there, man. So salute to you first and foremost. You know, we're going to give you all your praises up front. BP, uh, man. Let them know, man. Let them know what the fuck going on, man. We don't <laughs> see, see niggas like you every day. You are a hero, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> y'all my hero. Hey. Y'all out here doing, you know, your creative thing, you know, being your own boss. So Ooh, Speaking and, of know, creative. I appreciate y'all and... Look up to y'all as well. Word. Yeah. <laughs> Word. <laughs> hey, man, how long you been in the banking and, and finance industry? Over 25 years. Word. Yeah. The I, right way. Talk yeah. your shit. Yeah, I started as a, started as a teller Word. when I was in college at Morehouse. And uh, 
it was the best job I could get at the time that paid more money than working at Lenox Mall, so. Tell the black folk what teller mean, because you know in the black community you a snitch, so okay. that ain't what it is. No, not that kind of teller. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> see? see? that's why we brought him, the translate. <laughs> Some nigga like, he was a teller, man. Cut this shit off, man. Telling ass, man. Telling ass, ass nigga, man. man. He got a six nine ass nigga, man. Last week it was the police, now they got a teller. All right, AKA cashier. There you go. Talk your shit. How about that? (laughs) Still a nigga at the house like, the nigga worked at Walmart? (laughs) Look, what's the process of moving up the ladder that high? Because now you don't have no boss, right? You the boss. How you become the whole boss? Well, I'm not the whole boss quite yet, but... um, Nigga, you a boss, nigga. Well, I'm just saying, can't nobody at your job tell you what to do, though. Right. Yeah. You yeah. can't get yeah. fired. Yeah, the call, they can call, but, like, ain't nobody in the building gonna tell you shit. Right, right. See, right. that's exactly what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Like, when you run the whole building, that's good enough for us over here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, you just, it's about performance. It's about, you know, doing good things in the community, raising your profile, doing stuff like this, showing that, you know, hey, we are in the community. And, I'm gonna wait, uh, nigga, cause we doing some good shit. And, right, we trying I, to, and yeah. we're trying to build. So, you know, people see that and, uh, and they support you and your, and your growth. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, out of all, you know, all this, you know, controversial things that have been going on, everybody been saying like, buy black and bank black. So have you been seeing you know, an influx of black people coming to Citizens Trust to open accounts and move businesses over that way? Absolutely. Uh, actually, you know, it, it happened back in uh, 16. Uh, we had Killer Mike and, and uh, JD and, um, and Usher come by. Right. At that moment, we had... Um, you know shit big when Usher come. <laughs> yeah. Usher don't yeah. come to shit. Did he dance little. in that moment? <laughs> nah, he didn't dance. Oh, okay. But, uh, you know, we opened probably at that moment <laughs> Uh, more accounts in about three months than we had the previous three years. Mm. So that just tells you what an influencer can do in right. terms of moving moving the numbers. This time, I feel like that was sort of, I call that a, 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 a moment. Um, now I feel like it's a movement. Right. Um, I feel like this is going to be sustainable in terms of, you know, the people coming in. We you didn't even catch that game you just dropped yes, right there. Yes, so, you did. So you, you yeah, called it. I heard it. When you said turn a moment into, into a, a movement. movement. Look, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm taking see, that. See, that's, Nigga don't need to so, know. Hey, I'm taking see, that that's one. how you talk money, money without even Take saying. Take a moment into a movement. Come on. Ooh. Keep going. Keep, Keep going. going, nigga. We yeah. listening. Keep going. Keep yeah, going. I need so, some more I mean, of this. So, yeah, so now, you know, it's, it's, it seems like it's going to be. You know, people are being intentional. They're saying, okay, I want to do business with black people. I right. want to support black people. And prior to that, you know, people were on the fence. And now with people being more intentional, to your point, yes, the phone has been ringing. We've been, you know, overwhelmed with new accounts, um, right. new loans. We do mortgages, credit cards, the whole nine. So we've been. I'm going to get right to it. What do you think the hesitation is for people to bank black? Don't one, your shit be real, you know, nigga. Come on, yeah. we got them. They listening, yeah, right? Well, they right so now. It's, they it's, it's a they couple see. things. One, we 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 just program not to even think about it, right? So, right. so you do what you what's convenient. So right. you see a, you know, majority bank. I'm not gonna give them no props. I don't blame you. Talk you see shit. a majority see bank right on here. every every corner, and so that's what you automatically just think of when you have a need. But the difference now is that what I was saying about being intentional is we have to think, okay, who that looks like me, that understands my financial situation, that may have been in my shoes at one point, will probably, you know, be favorable towards me in terms of there's no stereotypes, none of the stuff that you might receive at the majority bank. Right. So think about that. And that can have a, a good effect when you, you know, looking to do accounts or when you're looking to, uh, to do loans, things now, like that. Now, on, on this question I got right, when you was a teller, when you was working for the other corporation, now, break that, because we already had our sit down. Break that finding, uh, defining moment that you realized that you could turn it to a movement. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> we mentioned it. When you was at that, that other corporation and you realized, you're like, you know what, I'm bringing too much to, to a whole organization that really not saying they don't really care for our people, but now I need to redirect this energy and go where it's needed. Yeah, I mean, you know, they have, the organ- those organizations have their place, right? right? So for me, that place was, they gave me the game, right? right? They, they trained me, they taught me all the stuff. I, I maneuver my way up until, we talked about commercial real estate, they taught me all of that. 
a lot of those things we don't normally get exposed to. Deep. So what I, I kind of had an epiphany that, hey, I can take what they learned, they taught me over here and teach that game to our people and then that'll elevate even more of us. So it's more of a, you know, take what I've learned and then, you know, try to give back so we can elevate the masses and not just, you know, one or two people, you know. Mm. You can go to school for a lot mm -hmm. of stuff, but it's the, it's the reality of life. Like, you know, I could, I could tell you anything you need to know about commercial real estate mm -hmm. right now and it would save you years of school. And if you got the money and we can put it together, I mean, it, it just, it's a beautiful thing. It's just, the problem is a lot of times we don't get exposed. My daddy wasn't rich, you you know, so no, they don't understand. <laughs> 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 no. But that's how it is, yeah, so. Well, give us some quick game right quick, as much as you can on some commercial real estate. Well, I mean, honestly. If somebody, if you're gonna touch somebody. If somebody listening right now, we watching, that's gonna pick it up and be like, I got Break it down, game. cause you know niggas ain't, niggas ain't always Eric quick. Wilson. Yeah, so, so the reality is, again, what I talk about us thinking. Right. We've always stayed in apartments. We never thought who owns that apartment, mm -hmm. right? We just paid the rent, whatever. We never thought about, man, I wanna own this one day. And so what really has kept black people out of the commercial real estate market. Now you hear somebody say, oh, I have some rental properties. Usually they're talking about a single family house or two. But owning an apartment building, owning a hotel, owning an office building, those are things that we never really thought of before. Mm -hmm. And the things that really the the thing that really has kept us out of it is the down payment. Mm -hmm. Because when you go to buy a house, they have down payment assistance, they have three percent down, five percent down, they have all these programs designed to help you with the American dream. But when it comes to commercial real estate, that's an investment. Right. And so they expect for you to have what we call skin in the game. Hey, I'm not going to help you buy that unless you put some money in it too. Because if we, if we lose, we're going to lose together, right. right? So on a commercial side, you usually have to put in 20 to 25% down typically. And that's what's kept us out. Because think about it, if a building, on a, like apartment building costs a million dollars, to get a loan, you got to put up two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So you say to yourself, "How many black people really have two hundred and fifty thousand dollars?" Where it used to be, not a lot. Right. But now we've got professionals, we've got entertainers, we've right. got athletes. These are all the people now that <clears throat> actually had the resources, or you can pool your resources. Like me, you, right. you, we can go in. I everybody ain't never put know no in. VP or no bank, man. <laughs> well, now you do. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's... Yeah, we got to go in on some shit. No, more definitely. <clears throat> and even to pick yeah, back yeah. up on, on, on that, uh, not just more so just explain, let these the folks understand why banking black is, you know what I'm saying, is, is prevalent to us because you got to understand there was a system, even though that's part of the system, 25%. When you're banking at these other corporations, it's a system that they built that it was really strictly made for them. So when we come in and we asking, can we get a loan? They like, first of all, you ain't even finna get the percent that we give to our people. I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all 40. We need at least <laughs> half. But when you come where we at, because like, if it's black owned, you need a loan, man, we gonna fuck with you. We gonna rock with you because it was stimulations and restrictions which made us not even be, like that, just be scared to even walk in the bank. Cause in our mind, I ain't finna get no goddamn loan. How you know that? How? How do you know that? They already, you have been taught that since a young age, you ain't gonna get no damn loan. Right. Why? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, if you, I mean, based, everything you just said was the whole reason that the bank was started in the first place. So. Give him a rundown. So, so the bank was started back in 1921. Now, mm. next year we'll be 100 years old. Mm. Nigga had uh, money since 1920. I mean, if you think about it, you had the Great Depression, Depression in, in the late 20s, right, right? Right, right? You had the Great Recession that we just passed, and we had more banks in Georgia fail than any other state in the United States. But hey, this little black bank here, we still stand and we profitable, right? Um, but the reason it was created was because of the things you're saying. Systematic racism would not allow us to buy homes. Have you all, anybody seen the movie, The Banker? 
I haven't seen. Anybody it. Anybody seen? Anybody seen? Uh, no, raise your hand it. like we in class, nigga. Shit. Uh, <laughs> shit. Nigga, just looking at niggas. Shit. Okay, we got five. People yeah, we got. Okay, we got seven. I got seven over here. I know. I know the rundown of it. We ain't get to watch it though. Yeah. So I mean, even that was, you know, these guys ended up buying a bank using the white face to, you know, own a bank. But the point- a white dude right over there. You know. <laughs> 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 this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. My name is Carlos Miller. Bluechew.com. Trust me. At this point, you already know. It's people asking me, man, what that Blue Chew do? Blue Chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. And it's a sexual stimulant. Now it's not it's not gonna cure any ailments or anything like that. But it will have you making sweet, sweet love <laughs> to your lady. Bluechew.com. If you can benefit from more confidence where it counts, Blue Chew is the fastest and easiest way to enhance your performance. These pills are amazing. Go check them out at Bluechew.com. If you could use a confidence boost or you just want to feel like your old self again, trust your mans. Use the promo code. It's only $5, man. You can try it for 5 Dollars, go online, bluechew.com. You can go right on your phone. That's blue, B L U E, chew, C H E W dot com. Hey man, make sure you hit that website and use their promo code. I just want you to see what all the hype is about. You get what I'm saying? Trust me on this. Use the promo code, get your first shipment for free. 85 South. I put that on everything. Times is hard out here. You feel me? <laughs> so you, they they did that so that they could help more black people own homes. Right. We've always had to trick the system, whatever. So by us establishing the bank, uh, it allows us to do the things that at the majority of institutions is harder to do. Right, DC, right, right. you come in the bank. Right. You go into a majority bank say, hey, I want to go buy a million dollar building. They might not know who you are. They might not, they may make a cast judgment of, you know, how you walk in. Look at in, the tattoo you know on my face now. They, they, they might, you know, make, make assumptions, right? Mm -hmm. But we don't do that because, you know. And he is a great businessman. You know, you know, right, exactly, smart. We've, we've had conversations, you can see he's focused, he's got some things he wants to do. But we don't make those type of uh, assumptions about people again. I was going to ask you what incentives are y'all running? The bank itself? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we don't know. Really... We know what the fuck that means. We black. Yeah. Is... When a nigga hit you with that. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, bro. I mean, yeah, I mean, I can do a little something, but not in front of everybody. Nigga, yeah. help you out, man. He ain't going to. Hey. What you talking now, gang? Hey, man. We're a small bank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get have a small coat people out. You know what I'm saying? But, but you know, even to pick back off that, you know what I'm saying, on some black excellence, you know, and stuff that's not really being taught to us, like how you say we wasn't taught that. People, as y'all can say, he said that the bank started in 1920, during a time where we was, it was no equality. Right. 19, that's 20 years from 1800, you know what I'm saying? Like, you telling me somebody started a bank. Black people came together. That's how shit start, y'all. They're not going to put this shit in handbook because it's, it's power is knowledge. Knowing something over somebody. Right. If they don't know it and you know it, you have power over them. So if I know something that you don't know, I got power over you. So if y'all don't know, only a bank can come about. A group of people coming together, putting funds together. We have a fund. Okay, right. now you come bank with us and we'll tell you to put interest on it. Now that's what, what happened in the 1920s. A group of black people came together to start a bank for us. But have we been taught about it? No. Are they gonna tell us about it? No. Is this in handbooks? No. This is history. Real history that's supposed to be told to us. So I want y'all motherfuckers out there to step aside in that shit and at least broaden your horizons, people, right. and want to pick up this knowledge. This this not a person that's here and we just trying to get right. y'all to fuck with. No, we this telling y'all because have to be here. He, he ain't got to be here, <laughs> but we saying we, we 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 fucking with him. Right. Not only we are taking advice from him, nigga, we done took our money out right. and went over here. You, you dig what I'm saying? So I want y'all to, to, to get with us. We ain't just no fools now. Go ahead, guy. Exactly. 
No, yeah, I mean, we're gonna have to keep bringing you back to keep us updated, and you know, and, and bringing the brothers some some financial literacy. We need absolutely, it. Yeah, we need absolutely. It. Somebody absolutely. who can speak the language, and you know, what I mean, who know how to say what needs to be said, so the, the right people can hear. Right. Absolutely. I mean, you know, we're about building, helping to build wealth, right? So, you know, a lot of times at the majority institutions, you got to walk in and you got to already know all the answers. The difference with the black bank is you come in, tell us, you tell me what your dream is, and then I try. Tell me what you're starting with, yeah. what you got in your pocket. And then I tell you how to go. <laughs> You know? <laughs> how much you fit a deposit, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, I give you the, the map for how to get there, you know? Girl, we need more black banks. People be more financially responsible. They would, man, right. can you imagine going to the bank and be like, yeah, let me get some money, and the teller just hit you back like, bro, you sure? <laughs> you don't really need it, do you? Man, go on with the bullshit. You this close. You this close. You want to see your account, man? If I do, I keep it in there. Yeah, you should have just been able to check. Man, I can't let the nigga be able to tell her, I can't let you get you that. Man. I trust you check one box, send me a little something, and they just send you what you can get according to what you got. <laughs> now a little something. Now percentage of what you got in there, a little something. That's all we got for you, man, dog. <laughs> we ain't gonna let you go bankrupt, big dog. How long you need something till? You can check the box till Monday. It's just everyone. <laughs> so you gonna pay me back till Monday now, look, okay. I'm gonna lend you twenty dollars. <laughs> you get your envelope back in theater. <laughs> Black bank for real. Hey, send us the envelope back, big dog. You ain't using me. <laughs> nah, but 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 see that that we we need to tell our people that because it's a lot of stuff we don't. By me even being in the industry, I grew because I needed to. You see what I'm saying? Because I didn't like. I don't like. I, I don't like my lawyers to talk for me. I don't like motherfuckers talking for me. Or when I'm in meetings, I want to hear what they saying. Mm -hmm. I want to grasp the information because. Learning is fun to me, especially now I'm at an age where I'm like, shit, the shit that I'm learning, I'm actually using. The knowledge, the shit that I'm, you know what I'm saying, gaining from books, I'm, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, putting it into my life. So it's like, we need to learn the system. And we got to understand, we need to stop trying to uh, uh, integrate a system that wasn't built for us. Right. It's okay. Like, we, we had that conversation where it was like, if you who you are, whatever your nationality, your ethnicity is, you're supposed to have that type of power about your race. White man, if you white, you're supposed to be happy to be white, because you white, <laughs> but I'm black. I'm happy as fuck to be black. <laughs> you dig what That's I'm saying? Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's you supposed to. So now we have an establishment of facility foods that's saying, hey man, I'm like you. Matter of fact, I got a whole bunch of resources that's for you, black brother, because it was a time where we didn't have none of that. And it was a time where we couldn't afford. Now it was a time when they demoralized us and told us that we can't even start a bank, nigga. It's 2020. Why am, are we now just putting our money into a black bank? Right. And this shit was opened up in 1920. <laughs> and I'm putting my money in in 2020? <laughs> Something going, something wrong. It's the, it's the anniversary. You'll be cool. Yeah, so, so. Yeah, I can't even act like I had some money for a long time. I used to keep my money close to me. <laughs> but, but, but I'm saying just, but I'm saying just, just a little something. Just like how you said earlier, just a little something. Hey, I know nigga got a bank account with hundred dollars in it. I had a point in my life sit. where I would take all my money out of my account quick as hell. What? Who? Hey, get my money. See, I don't want that attitude. Nah, cause she ain't had to snatch some shit like that. Go on, get me off. Go on, close the account. Uh-uh. You got your little fuck ass card back. Give me my money. All six hundred twenty-six dollars. You can't close your account like now that. You it's gonna take like away. You, you, it's gonna take away. You, you gonna have six hundred. When you ain't got a lot of money, they'll let you close that motherfucker right then. Just, mm -mm. Huh? Get the shit. You ain't black man charge. Black man charge to close. You closing what? Shit. 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 Boy, you better, boy. You want all your money? You gonna get it all, man? See, back when we first started, they, all, the, uh, uh, all the black people came to put their money in. They were so excited to have a place to right. go. But then when integration came, you know how we are. Yeah, when there was, I want to be like you. Yeah, they, theirs is better. Theirs is colder. <laughs> so let's run over there. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you have, you know, we've had customers, customers for years, but it's sort of that older customer base that were you know from that civil rights right. and they really understood hey this is where i need to be banking for a lot of reasons and now because of these social um pushes that we've had 
you know, our client age, average age has gone from mid fifties to like mid thirties right now, mm. just because mm -hmm. of these pushes. So for us, we're that gives us some, sustainability. We're another demographic. Oh, we're right. bring some young, some young motherfuckers with some money from TikTok and hip hop. Mm -hmm. YouTube, all oh, y'all niggas that doing it. Put this shit in Citizen <laughs> Trust, man. <laughs> Go ahead, drop the deposit, nigga, real talk. But tell them, tell them, why we should because at the end, no, we're gonna we're gonna get down to the to the to the real nitty gritty because like how you said when they started it it was it was around like the civil rights movement so majority of the people who understood back then let me go and put my money over there because now it's gonna be they they like 50 60 nigga he nigga the right the average age at citizen trust was like 52. That was what I want my money. That was the Lord. I want my money around some motherfuckers going to heaven. Get some motherfuckers. Everybody in line. Sucking on their bottom lip. Ain't got no teeth. So we need all the young. <laughs> Let me see you some money. Give me $300. I know I put it in that last week. Now listen here. We need all the young people to go back at Citizen Trust. You dig what I'm saying? Take your money out wherever it is. I don't give a fuck where it's at. Take that shit out and go to Citizen Trust, man, because the more of us and the more we can, can populate as an economy, guess what? The banker, the bank is only going to get greater for us. Yeah, leave some of that <laughs> shit because you got them bills set on auto pay. Don't forget about that. Don't take all your shit out of there and be owing them folks that get to cut shit off. Because once they cut it off, you got to pay another deposit. And keep in mind, you barely paid that. So to start all over again, you don't want to ruin yourself financially because then you ain't going to have shit to take over there to Citizen Trust. Mm -hmm. so, so, so when you deposit money into our bank, we loan that money out to people like you. You better stop doing that shit. So, <laughs> so let me so, find out you let a motherfucker so, hold my six twenty six. Uh, hey, maybe not that, people like you. I got that bitch at eight thirty in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm being talk to Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Looked at my account. That shit said pending. Who the fuck is pending? <laughs> Who is that? I don't know pending. They ain't no authorized user on my. Shit. What time Eric come? I'll be here till he get it in. We'll be raining right there. Nah, I know how that bank shit yeah. works. Nah, I that mean, because when you to not say. when you when you deposit into the majority <laughs> bank, I know. yeah, you go to the majority bank, they be loaning your money out to people that don't look like you. Like a lot of businesses, when we had that PPP thing, a lot of businesses that bank with those majority banks didn't get any money, and then they you yeah, know. I guess so. Oh, we gave it out to all our business customers. Oh, that's how you really stuck. You gave your PPE loan that. We're like, look, we straight. We're going to help the community with it. During the pandemic, y'all gave us money? We gave out the government's money. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Why y'all ain't give me none of that shit? We, we ain't been in work this shit month, nigga. Yeah, we just. We need that stop, stop, nigga. Yeah, let me get a little 4% interest rate or something. Yeah, I took my money and gave it straight away. Thank you, BC. Here you go, young fella. There you go. <laughs> Fuck put these organic ass gummy bears up here. Are they nasty? Man, what? Oh boy. They organic. They just taste like taste. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, we ain't gonna keep you in here all night, but we really, we really appreciate you coming through and just sprinkling a little knowledge on us, you know, to help us get our financial literacy up for 2020. We got a lot of big things going, a lot of, lot of new creations coming over here from 85 South, man. And we just want to come and get a quick intro. <laughs> You know, of our, you know, knowing somebody in your position is always good. And we appreciate you coming through. Anything you want to leave us with? Uh, uh, just, I just, you know, one thing I just want to say to, to everybody listening. Um, you know, right now you're seeing in a lot of cities this gentrification process, right? Talk your shit. Don't sell your grandmother's house. This don't nigga walking out the door like this. House. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> this shit about to go. Hey, man. I'm looking for that deed right goddamn now. She passed two years ago. I'm about to sell this motherfucker. Look, Fuck don't that. argue with me. This is what she wanted. <laughs> <laughs> she, left, she left me this house. Now. This is what she wanted. This is what she said, dude. <laughs> Let me see. You My this is what she, she wanted? She, yeah, she, she, no. Nah. <laughs> We just know it's somebody, somebody uncle at the house. That, man, them folks gonna give us, look, they talking about 110,000. Nah, nah, the house need a roof. Now, ain't nobody gonna do that. Ain't hey, nobody. bro, my brothers and mama sold my dad a house for $14,000. <laughs> 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 look, 
They gonna give me three. They gonna give you. I'm looking at that bitch. I ain't getting shit. <laughs> nigga, they need me to even say this. I'm gone, man. Yeah, nigga. Oh, y'all, nigga, call me over here with this fuck ass shit. <laughs> you said you miss me, motherfucker. Hey, how much you gonna man, get? Man, 14,000. <laughs> nigga, it's six kids. You ain't there like that. <laughs> Who, who, who gonna get the, the, the rest? The spare change? Hey, y'all, nigga, shut the fuck up talking to me. I'm not selling this house, man. $14,000? Who's still on crack in here? I think a nigga relapsed. I, I know a nigga relapsed. Oh. $14,000? Nigga, that's all, that's all I kept saying going like that. $14,000. I be there. I I'm all outside. God damn. Jamie. <laughs> 14,000. Oh. Oh, man, see? <laughs> Don't sell that house, man. Man, no, oh, man. Look, then the white man was down like He was in the house, too, bro. The white man who was in the back. Yeah, I told him to get the fuck out. <laughs> just Literally, me. just like that. I said, who are you? My brother told me, this the man is gonna die. <laughs> I, man, I swear, he ain't got no teeth. I started to punch that nigga right in his mouth. <laughs> so for his mouth. Yeah, let's go straight oh. through. <laughs> Hold up, nigga bit me. Mush mouth. <laughs> got one tooth in the back, sharp as hell. <laughs> real talk, I'm crackhead for real, bro. Fourteen thousand dollars, OG. But like you said, don't sell grandma no house. <laughs> oh shit. Can, can, can you tell the white Hell yeah, because well, just like he said, that shit. that person right there gonna give him fourteen thousand dollars. He move in, do a few improvements. He go, you know, he gonna increase the value of the house. It'll go to, you know, hundred thousand or you know, that's what's happening in all these neighborhoods, especially around Atlanta, D.C., all these major cities. They pay pennies to get the house, move in. Next thing you see, somebody jogging with a dog. All right. Hey, don't want to be jogging on bank. I was going to buy some. I'll be riding through the hood sometime, man. They be, I, some of them deals be too good to pass up. They be like, three acres, $700. I was like, I would buy it, but we had to fix this bitch in one day. Because as soon as we leave, they're going to steal everything out of this bitch. <laughs> okay, but even then, I still, I, I told her, like, don't sell it. Because you got to understand, daddy paid this house off. My nigga, you have no rent. Right. You can really be in here with the lights off, the water off. I mean, you going to be stank. <laughs> but shit, you ain't got to pay shit. Why sell it? Hey man, and you now got you got two thousand. I love your outlook on shit. They go what? You feel what I'm saying? The worst case scenario. But, but I'm, I'm telling nigga, for real, nigga, we got bad left us a house, nigga. You gotta think about it. We have some We have shelter. You said this motherfucker for fourteen thousand. You got one month worth of rent in your pocket, fool. No, you talking about man? Let's, let's see if he get his money back. No, bitch, it's over with. Y'all gotta stop letting your crackhead brother negotiate the family. Bro, he be finding the niggas. I don't know. He be on the phone. Look, bro, I'm on the phone with him. I'm gonna call you. I like how you get a phone <laughs> <laughs> with no money. So look, man, you gotta come back and check us out. The Citizen Trust got a bank, and it's ran by some black folks. I'm talking about without a doubt. Trust the bank too, y'all. Listen. Trust word. Hey man, leave all that other shit over there, y'all. Y'all know who I'm talking to. Leave that shit over there. Take their money. Take their money. But when you come over here, take their money. <laughs> Get some money from them. Money Bring it over here with us. Bring it over here with us. We need it. We, they, we need it. They already got some. They been had it. That's reparation. <laughs> See how we that's... We on the ass. We on the ass. We know them. And they, mm. they don't know we and us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. We paying attention. Well, okay. I'm part of we and us now. Exactly. You know what I'm trying to tell you, OG? Hey. Yes, Citizen Trey. I don't know if you know this, but Marvin Gaye proud of you. Look at him. Look how he's looking at me. Right. That's the first time he smiled, my yeah, nigga. Marvin Gaye. Hey. What up? He like, I ain't even know nothing about no I citizen. I ain't never say nothing. Boy, you better do it. never say nothing about no damn citizen. <laughs> <laughs> well, just know we looking, we looking forward to doing some great business with you, man. And yep. when you get ready to go in on something, it's gonna be me and DC and him and Everybody. all of these people over here, man. So we're gonna go buy us something. All right, let's but do before it. Before you go too, let people know, because this is not just a show that is based in Atlanta. 
it's around the world. Right. So let these folks know it's Citizen Trust. Around the world. Oh, yeah. It, it is. I, it's, hey, Citizens Trust. Yeah, we in Atlanta right now, but we, we have, you know, locations everywhere. You can catch us online at ctbconnect.com. Get at us on Instagram. <laughs> you know, hey. Y'all got an Instagram, bro? Yeah. Citizens <laughs> Trust back Instagram. Hey. Man, what the, cause we might go to the Instagram, right? Go to the Instagram. We want to see what they got. What the, bro, what the bank Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> what the bank Instagram doing, bro? They post your pictures with the money. Oh, shit. Got your shit up here. <laughs> Didn't know your shit safe in hell up here, boy. That is hilarious. That was hilarious. Oh, Niggas gonna be driving man. all the way down from Michigan just to put their money in him. Oh, yeah. This is beautiful. What are they right now, This is their Instagram. Bullshit, nah, it's beautiful, man. It really looks real professional. It looks like a uh, home and garden. Y'all so professional. I thought they was gonna be on there at eight, right eight o'clock with the stacks. <laughs> that truck just brought that stimulus money, my boy. Come down here. <laughs> <laughs> Big money on debt. Here you talking about? Interest rate three percent. Oh, yeah, we got we got, we got a pipe session. Sure. Check it and save and fuck nigga. Come see Batman. <laughs> nigga just on there on the money phone. Nigga, you got your life insurance. <laughs> 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 Boy, we got money out here bigger than your future, boy. Come down here and bitch on something. I put that on God, but on God, these folks got hella money out here. I'm talking about big blue. Fuck you talking about? <laughs> that butt blue. 20,000 in them orange tin. Come see Batman, 9 in the morning. Over here on that west end. Fuck you mean? <laughs> we ain't even on that we ain't, ain't they on there talking big shit during the COVID-19. We won't even open the door for these broken head niggas. Fuck you talking about? <laughs> Real niggas come through that drive through Fuck you mean? First wonder. You know Batman. First wonder shawty. Been, been with the school. Been with the school, big finance, big commercial real estate, <laughs> fuck you mean, broke ass, ugly ass, lame man, don't even own your crib bag, paying rent, stupid ass, no integrity, nothing, ugly ass. We Talk getting money seat. over here. Commercial real estate, not the TV commercial, boy, big business. Big fuck you mean. <laughs> You do a big, big, the big, big business. You what a you tell him. What? You a tell him. Hell no. Can't shit. I ain't told shit, <laughs> what? <laughs> fuck you talking about, what? Big business. <laughs> the business big in hell. <laughs> OG, I fuck with you, boy, but I waited long enough. <laughs> Yeah, man, we got to get you out of here, man. That man got. We got ain't kicking you out, but. Look, hey, it. Citizen hey, Trust Bank. 85 South. My time. man. <laughs> <laughs> My man. Eric Wilson, man. Y'all show us some love. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Big business. <laughs> Except for busting guns, fuck the cops and lit vicious lives up. Skipping class, slider by, he got a wicked jump shot. Ship stuck on his shoulder because his brother got popped. And Papa was a rolling stone, fuck all that We trying to make it on the cover, nigga, how about that? Nigga, we go broke because we don't buy black Got the crackers toe tapping when we giving them racks I'm in the booth right now plotting this Michael Berry jacket A rapping contradiction, nigga, I just gotta have it I got shoes you never seen, but I know it's gonna match it I be selling niggas confidence and tripping with a passion, uh Dressed to kill, you can call me an assassin Need no extra feels or no baby mama action He black and confident, ooh, they like that he ain't got no kids, ooh, they like that These women give me eyes when I'm passing them, boy I be giving niggas tips, they be asking me, boy And these niggas get dressed, I'm gassing them, boy I say, you should see my closet look like Fashion Week, boy <laughs> Pull up, skirt, hop out, these niggas annoyed You ain't the only one that can afford You're not the only name to make the tabloids You're just a guy, nigga, I'm that boy If learning a new language is on your to-do list Babbel makes it fun and easy to start having conversations in Espanol or whatever your preferred language. Es usted la nueva vecina. Look, Babbel is designed to get you speaking your new language quickly with daily 10 to 15 minute lessons. Es usted la nueva vecina. Es usted la nueva vecina. Bienvenida. Bienvenida. Yo soy la nueva vecina. Babbel teaches you real dialogue. You're not just learning words and phrases out of context. Es usted la nova vacina? Si. Sí. Yo soy la nova vacina. The speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and your accent. Babbel is available as an app 
or online. So your progress will be synced on all your devices. Les B, n'est-ce pas? Bonjour, Freddy. La vie n'est pas. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, German, and a host of others. Les B, n'est-ce pas? Right now, Babbel is offering our listeners three months free with the purchase of a three-month subscription with the promo code 85SOUTH. Go to Babbel.com, use promo code 85SOUTH on your three-month subscription. That's Babbel, B-A-B-B-E-L.com, promo code 85SOUTH. Ladies and gentlemen, are you tired of not being fly as you can be? Are you tired of not looking the best that you can mm -hmm. look? Are you tired of walking around and people not asking you where you got that? Well, you need to change where you got that and come get some of what we got. And that's the 85 South Show of Pearl at 85apearlcompany.com. That's where you go to get all this fly shit we got on right here. Look, pull the pants out, man. You pull the pants out. Look, 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 look. Don't even look like he could go on the first day of school. Ain't even no school. Lady, <coughs> print friendly. Yeah, whatever he just said. I ain't with all that shit, but I am with the selling of the merchandise. So make sure you go to 85apearlcompany.com to get you some of this fresh gear. Like my man E-Man here. We ain't got the hair wraps yet, but we gonna get them. I won't break up. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be a fantasizing about having two dicks in your life, and who are you right now? What y'all mean? I didn't even know you wanted two dicks. You having fantasy dicks? Cheating ass bitch. <laughs> Over here trying to dream of another dick. Like trying to partner my dick with another dick. <laughs> it's to funny complete cause. your fucking fantasy. What type of selfish ass <laughs> shit is that? Like my dick in a tag team partner. <laughs> like, like she bored with just one dick. I got all this other stuff I could be using. I sure wish it was a tag team dick. <laughs> That's not who I want to be with. It's not who the fuck I want to be with. <laughs> this, nigga, this nigga play all day, cuz. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I just want to get to the, you ever seen like a black man who just sick of his woman? Well, he's saying he like 30 pounds. years married. This nigga sick of her ass. He, he want her to cheat. He's like, please, just get the fuck, fuck out of here. I want to get to that point of not giving a he fuck. Try to start it and whatever comes in, we just flip. I don't know. I don't know. How long? You married? How long? He ain't there yet. 23, they still kissing on the lips and shit, going yeah. to Nashville on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> when you've been married 23 years, you take the most bullshit vacations to places nobody wants to go. Where y'all go? We went up to Gatlinburg. <laughs> Got a cabin up there, zip line, walked up a trail, ate some trail mix. I saw where some lions used to live. Took a picture by the river. We had a nice time. My parents <laughs> They didn't do shit. Just walked around and talked about day. Look how nice it is out here. Oh Lord. Trying to get to that point. Oh, not yeah, yeah. The fuck this. Yeah. But the timing ain't that yet. I'm getting close. We, I've been working on my not giving a fuck this. I thought you said you finna work on a marriage. Oh, I've been lowering my levels of giving a fuck. There used to be certain things that would make me give a fuck, and you know, like in conversation, give a fuck. Like you take a stance. Now I just don't even give a fuck. I just be like, it is what it is. You know, we live to fight another day. Yeah, your dad drunk. Look at his hair. <laughs> Motherfucker, hell, this, this way. You know, you know that, that's what I'm talking about. That level of don't give a fuck. When you can go out some, you can go to Miami with your wife, get drunk, put on two different flip flops, have a little pee on your shorts, and just, she love you. Like when you just don't have to try no more. 23 years in as a good man, you gave a fuck, you kept your hair cut, your kids is in college. Now you can just. Walk around not giving a fuck. No, just I'm get a monthly I'm check. Saying, I ain't saying that's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and not give a fuck. And go to Gatlinburg. <laughs> 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 they know Gatlinburg ain't shit. No, they no. know. <laughs> Y'all tired of Gatlinburg. Y'all done went to Gatlinburg for everything. Everything. Gatlinburg. Gatlinburg. We having a uh, high school graduation <laughs> well, in Gatlinburg. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Gotta go to Gatlinburg for every goddamn thing. <laughs> That's what that niggas be, bruh. Man, what? Home, bruh. 
Yeah, we're gonna skip school and do what? <laughs> Go to Gallimore. <laughs> Find something else to do. <laughs> The white dude, he used to go to Murfreesboro all the time. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go down to Murfreesboro, man. My cousin's gonna ride some four-wheelers, ATVs, man. We're gonna go down to Murfreesboro. Man, that shit sound lit. Let me go with you. Dude, you, you don't wanna go. You don't wanna go. <laughs> That's when they go with the racist cousins. Dude, you don't wanna go. You don't wanna go. <laughs> These dudes are dicks, man. They're not even cool. Why you keep going? I'm cool with them. <laughs> you wouldn't like them. <laughs> 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 Hell no. Nah. That's when you know you're fucked up at the white park. When you hear the white dude say, dude, that is so fucking not cool. <laughs> That's the worst shit you can do at a white party, man. You around some white people, you hear that shit? It don't matter what, you can kill somebody. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? That is so not cool. <laughs> That is so not cool, bro. <laughs> White people are crazy. That nigga said, man, bro. you know this shit. That nigga said Murfreesboro. Man, okay. yeah, Murfreesboro, <laughs> man. Let's be out there, bitch, having big fun. Eight o'clock in the morning, drunk. You know why people drunk when they get to losing their shoes and shit? <laughs> you know First thing they're having, white people drunk, yeah. motherfucker, losing them goddamn yeah, shoes. Melody and all that, nigga. Toe up. Billy, where are your flip flops? I don't know, bro. I've been drinking since nine this morning. They love to tell you what time they started. Dude, dude we've been up since six, bro. Fucking drinking. I've drunk 58 beers, man. We took some shots. We had some coke earlier. I'm not even coke high, bro. But I'm still drunk. It's 10 in the morning. I need a fucking Xanax. My sister has my other coke. <laughs> they always got some backup you coke. <laughs> you think white, all white people like cocaine. They, you know, they ain't turning that shit down. Yeah, and then they always got, and they got some better cocaine than what's available too. You guys wanna do some real coke? No, this is fine. <laughs> you trying to order that fentanyl. Somebody's gonna die on this bitch. Dude, I knew a guy. No, oh, fuck that guy, man. <laughs> White people love their drugs, man. They almost die every well, time they get. Dude, I know a dude. Like he's that. fucking super you know seedy, saying? but so like he's cool. He going in. <laughs> <laughs> that dude's a, a total dick, bro. But he's he's cool. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna pull a gun on us. I fucking know he is. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll go in. I'll let him pull the fucking gun or whatever. But he's gonna give us some awesome ass coke, bro. Hey man, this nigga's funny. Cause. It's gonna get us some awesome blow, man. It's gonna be so worth it. Trust me, bro. Give me your money. Like fold it three times, bro. It's funny, bro. Hey, nigga made stupid That You don't believe me? You guys didn't go to college. When white people offer you some cocaine and you don't want none, they apologize. They be like, dude, I'm so sorry, bro. Dude, dude I'm not a dick, bro. I'm so sorry, bro. I'm just gonna do this last little bit and that's it, bro. I won't ever do this around you again, bro. Swear to God. Man, synthetic weed. I didn't know nobody lame enough to smoke that shit. Hey, check on DC. See if they're ready to do this shit. Whatever. These motherfuckers. What do he look like? <laughs> <laughs> what do he look like? He black? And he from the hood? Right. Jesus? I, mean, I believe it. Because look at his name, man. Then look at all the shit that happened to him. All the shit like that happened to niggas. He hang around 12 motherfuckers that can't stand him. <laughs> all he ever, think about the Bible story. All Jesus ever did was prove he was Jesus. Didn't nobody believe the motherfucker was Jesus the whole time. Hey, man, I need you to do something for me. I'm the son of God. Man, go on the bullshit, man. Go on, bro. It's hot out here, bro. <laughs> Been out here 600 years and here you show up with this shit. Everybody Jesus. Yeah, okay, whatever, bro. Oh, bro, for real, they me this time. Bro, go on with that bullshit. I got a thousand sheep to take care of. In the desert. Don't never ask questions. Technically saying that he owns the entire song. 
but you can go take it. Oh, shit. Reverse it. <laughs> that shit real. Oh, okay. God. I'm t bruh. Nigga, yeah. oh, Come on, man. So uh, you can't Hell take no. it. I don't go nowhere. You <laughs> take that song with them saying. God, bro. man. I'm, don't, get me, <laughs> don't get me started, man. Music, Don't get me started, bro. Fat ass headache. I'm telling you, Jesus was real. He had to be. He had to be a nigga, though. And first of all, a whole one, like a whole one. Think about it. They wrote a whole book about this shit. A bunch of different times. Everybody had this motherfucker was so cold. Everybody told their story about the time that they was with him. Everybody, <laughs> bro, like everybody. He was a legend, bro. They don't tell you why they talk about Jesus. It's the shit that he was doing when he wasn't doing shit. This man was a legend. He was the puffy of his time. like Because everywhere he went, he set that bitch off. He made shit better. He had to be. He was so good that some white dudes killed him. That don't sound familiar? <laughs> Come on, bro. And he walked everywhere. Can you imagine you in Egypt? You you know you in Egypt. You done took a boat for 40 days and 40 nights. You go in Egypt and you kick him. Then you go home, wherever the fuck it take, wherever home is. And you get there, he there, they already there. I see something. I see something. Come on, bro. Uh, I'm just sitting here telling him how good Jesus was, bro. Jesus was was a Jesus cold. was a real nigga, man. I, that's exactly what I see. Nigga don't even understand, man. My boy walked on water, man. That was that wasn't even none of the coolest shit he did. He did that early in his team. Nigga don't even know. <laughs> nigga walked on water, man. What what else? What else? What the coolest shit he did? The coolest shit. The coolest. Man, that nigga went to a party one time with no food. <laughs> Took one piece of bread, Fed one everybody. fish, and they was full, and there was some left. I'm, I'm gonna tell, I'm tell you a cooler story. Go ahead. Everybody at the party was thirsty. Come on. Nothing to drink. Nigga said, you know what? Shit. What y'all want to drink? Nigga, then they be like, why? Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> this how cold Jesus is. How? He was dead for three days. Everybody Ooh. say it. Say it. The world is so sad. Get what he do. What he do? I'm back. <laughs> Crazy part about it, he wasn't even dead. He was just asleep. He like, these niggas still tripping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get him in three days, goddamn. I got three days to get that line right. Hey, what, if, what if you were like one of the pallbearers at his funeral, right? And you carrying him up there, and then you look down and you say it like, and then he look up and he wink and I be back. And then you like, <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing. He tell you, he tell you don't say nothing. <laughs> That's all you hear. Hey, but it's real, it's real confident too. He just, hey, don't cry, my nigga. Oops. I'll be back. Okay, all right. Ain't gonna say that. Got the funniest shit in the world is trying to say nigga hold some tears in. I ain't even gonna lie, I probably would've dropped your cash. I'm like, oh my bad, Jesus, sorry. You done scared me, man. Don't do that. They looking at me crazy. He said. <laughs> He said he gonna be back. <laughs> Ain't nobody hear that? <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> hey, my boy, hey man. Let me tell you something. My boy so real, man. He was like, hey thief. I know you stole. I watched you. I seen you. Just apologize. <laughs> nigga still talking. I ain't still nothing. You, 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 you gonna lie to me, man? <laughs> Just a nigga. You was at the salmon now. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to take the Dorito, but you put them back. But you put the gummy worms in your back pocket. <laughs> Niggas are there like, man, you know what? That was me. I apologize. You're going to heaven, nigga. You're going to heaven. Come on, man. For real, nigga. That's all it takes. Just apologize. Jesus, Jesus is one of the coldest. Oh, uh, yeah. For real, for real. This motherfucker here's so old. What? That nigga here. And they're off. The dogs are coming around the town. They're coming around the town. They're coming around the town. They're coming around the town. Coming around the town. Oh, he got back. He got back. Oh, there we go. Here we go. They're smoking. <laughs> smoking. Not. They're smoking. Not. Uh, uh, <laughs> so that's what you thought of when you saw that? Yeah, yeah. This motherfucker old. 
That is old. That's the radio you find out Dr. King got. I was just going to say something about Dr. King and. America, we're uh, sorry to interrupt this program. We have just lost Dr. King. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Comedy hurts so bad. Yeah, the li- hey, this is the radio you used to listen to the old boxing match on. And they're off, folks. They're coming out and giving them the old stuff, the old left, the old right. <laughs> Down goes Frazier. Down goes nigga was all up on that bitch. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> I ain't got that radio down. That is hilarious. Oh my god. I'm trying to find your station on this motherfucker. You got to be precise. Look, 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 look at this. You ain't got to be in the middle. Ah! It's a station between here and here. <laughs> <laughs> Got to run right in the rough and the rough. right in the rough and the rough. Now you know what else come on there though, DC. What? Oh, <laughs> if you're ever down in DC. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker lit right here. Oh shit, man. We got another special guest in the trap with us tonight. We're in the trap living room. We got company. <laughs> Look, we out here working hard to discover all the undiscoverables and, you know what I'm saying, just bring you in contact with some of the coolest motherfuckers in rotation on earth right now. Yes, sir. That's why we got you right here. Yes, sir. Did you know that? Did you know that we had selected you to be one of the coolest motherfuckers? <laughs> yeah. tell, them, tell them your name, G. Oh, yeah, man, Ron Obashi, man. Uh, yeah, man, Ron. <laughs> it's Radio, Radio Raheem, man. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> you knew what it was when you got here, man. Nigga, I did not know the trap was a thrift store. This nigga got a boom box after boom box. This nigga bought this shit for $240. <laughs> That's $2.40, my nigga. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> Tell him your name, Oh, yeah, man. bro, uh, Ron Obashi, man. Nashville, Tennessee, you come. Talk Straight your shit, gang, six, man. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, knees out. That nigga hit trip. Nah, nigga. Oh, one, one of them young niggas. The, uh, <laughs> one of them young niggas. He got on pants, but he knees out. Yeah. Fuck. You all right, nigga? You hot and cold? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, knees hot. I ain't never seen a nigga with his knees hot. <laughs> <laughs> I can just breathe in this <laughs> area. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, it's hot out here. Good crazy. <laughs> I knew they was on the way. <laughs> <laughs> so hot out here. <laughs> you knew he was on the way. I knew they was on the way. I was that bullshit, though. I, just, I mean, yeah, I do see the need, though. Nah, man. Man, you fucking this intro up, man. Get, up, man. Get, up, man. Do the shit again. Take it from the top. Again. Do it again, knees. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, man, Ron no bro. We really come from Nashville, Tennessee, man. 615. Talk your shit. We got a whole man. game with you, man. Yeah, I did, bro. I brought the tribe with me, man. You the brought tribe. the tribe with you? Yeah. What's, what's the name of the tribe? Uh, it's Third Eye. It's a label. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody over there is in Third Eye, but that Third Eye. Third Eye? Yeah. Like a Third Eye? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Stay woke. I'm a I'm, I'm, I'm Yeah, yeah. He tattooed his Third Eye. That shit gonna always mm-hmm. be on. We talking? <laughs> that shit tickled, too. <laughs> that shit tickled. That was your what's first up, gang? Third eye. Yeah, what's man. happening? It's gang, man. Try it ain't everybody, but that's, you know what I'm saying? Shit, that's a lot of them. That's a lot of them, though. Yeah. I, I always wonder what everybody do. I just feel like I ain't never even seen them, but I just feel like everybody play an instrument, like an obscure-ass <laughs> instrument. Like, the girl play the triangle. <laughs> this is a new know? slide in the family store, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the white dude go crazy on the kazoo. You would never <laughs> think that nigga. You would never think that motherfucker is a kazoo player like that. Nah, he the most musical hey, what, one kazoo? over there. What is that? Exactly. Like, this the look. <laughs> The little, talking about the little stick? Yeah, that's the, a real, the, 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 No, it's just a, a little like a whistle type. Oh, you talking about the little... No, you talking about a slide. Oh, shit. Talking about the little boat shit? Yeah. It passed them out of school, though. I tried to smoke out of one of them. That's a bowl. That's a bowl. I thought it was a goddamn bowl. I'm like, it was like... <laughs> I believe that motherfucker tried to smoke me out of kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> no screen, no filter, or nothing. Uh-uh. <laughs> Every time I try to inhale, them motherfuckers like, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that, man. Ron, tell us about the music, man. Uh, that yeah. Nashville shit, that 615. Shit, man, it's a scene that's really on the, 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 <laughs> the up and coming, man. You know, like, really just starting to get some eyes on us as far as the scene moving. Uh, 
Who's some sure. of your influence out of Nashville? Because you know I got my boy Trapper Man Dale out there, my boy Lido out there. You said who influenced me? Yeah, who you listen to out the bill, out the 615? Shit, other than them squad, uh, I'm saying people don't know, dude named Petty. Okay. Uh, Roe Marquez. See, we gonna check them out because I like Not to know are, what's up yeah. and coming and what the buzz but shit, is. They, I mean, it's some, they inspire me too. Jordan XX, Cole, you know what I'm saying? The nigga with the orange hat on? Nah, this the, the freckles. Freckles. Oh, freckles. freckles right? yeah, yeah, yeah. oh for real? Jordan XX Cole. Jordan yeah. XX. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, oh look, you gotta break the game down, so you yeah. rap. Yeah. You rap. So what the hell they do? <laughs> Shit, they I mean, Jordan make music, Jordy oh. make music, Ryan make music, D. Coleman make music, produce, mix, and master. Who little brother is that? Shit. That's somebody one? little brother do the long neck. <laughs> I'm talking about that nigga neck long as hell. Take little brother, man, <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Take him! He don't even do music, mom. Like, Take him! He, nah, he, he got to he know how to clap. You see him? That's the, that's the genius, though. He, he the genius? Nah, he's, I believe you. Nah, he, he probably the genius, up next. Ah, yeah, nah. he got a long neck. Yeah, he up next. Nah, he, uh... ah, he's up next. <laughs> <laughs> that boy like turtle next. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Oh, shit. He play an instrument. <laughs> yeah, nah. he played the drum on. You play. say he a genius? We just fucking, what's, what's his name? Uh, Sec, man. Sec, uh, Sec yeah. He you a, say he a genius? Yeah, he a director. I believe he do films and everything, man. Yeah, I believe right that up. shit. Turtle yeah. Nick. <laughs> That's neat right here, right beside him on the left. He neat. Cover our graphic design, bro. He really cold. That shit real neat. That's neat. Like, I thought you yeah. said neat. Nah, neat. Neat. Like yeah, neat. E A K. N I. That nigga ticklish. N I K. That nigga ticklish. N I Q. U U E. Neat. Like Dominique. Neat Quake. Nigga named Nikway. <laughs> nigga named Nikway. Where you gonna get your ass off? No, nah, just call me Nick. Nope, Nikway. Nigga named Nikway, nigga. The, what, the way you said it, I thought you said neat. Like, like I said, he's a graphic neat. designer. Nah, like, nah, all this shit neat. neat. Like, right. this shit look good. You can have that if you want to. Right. Right. The yeah. girl played the triangle. What she do? Who? Uh, Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, no, nah, That's she, a bread. She. she, she no, nah, right. She, my bad. Go ahead. What you do, Ryan? I'm an artist. I believe. She cold, bro. She gonna downplay. She got nice ears. She gonna downplay. You a girl, like? Oh, okay. You stupid. You like stupid. Who? <laughs> huh? Nothing. <laughs> what the dude with the orange hat do? Oh, he make music too. I he make beats and shit too, man. Everybody real little musically inclined for real. Y'all do, do look more than musically do. inclined. It look like y'all yeah. have a meeting in the middle. Like, okay, guys, we about to make some music, and then everybody break and go to their little station and email yeah. to each other. They run, they run fast as hell. Yeah, they don't work. They together. don't need go nowhere. They just like break. <laughs> <laughs> like they work together, but ain't nobody really in there together. That shit hard. But for real though, like, what, what inspired you? You know what I'm saying? Like to, to start this journey. Like first off, tell them. How long you been doing it yeah. and what started you? Yeah, and where we, you we at now? You got your whole life story oh, yeah. right here. Yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna read that shit? Nah, I'm just gonna goddamn see if it's true. Uh, shit, when they I was They got drunk. an autobiography. <laughs> 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 I was born in Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> My best friend name is Nick Way. <laughs> <laughs> He makes music and he's good at it. King nigga is hilarious, bro. Uh, now we got some of your music right here, Slum Dog, God's yeah. Image, Unmixed Thoughts, man. But he was asking about your influences. We just fucking with you, nah, giving y'all sure, a hard yeah. time, making y'all feel welcome and nah, shit. Nah, how we, we doing? Gotta make sure y'all family. Gotta make sure y'all got tough skin. Exactly. Bro. Nah, this shit feel like family for sure. But uh, shit, I started, man. Uh, young pops had me in the studio. Young, he he rapped and shit. He wasn't nobody. You know what I'm saying big, but he had me around music. For real? Uh, yeah, so I was like 10, 11. and then uh, I played sports and shit too. So. Music wasn't really like the first thing I was focused on. I was I was one of them niggas that was trying to play ball and shit. And then uh, around like 16, 17, uh, like I said, the dude, uh, the homie in the orange bean, his family really like took me in. They had a studio and shit. Like Word. It, it really wasn't a lot of equipment, but started making music again real tough. Uh, shit. But well, you passionate as hell, boy. Yeah, man, I, shit, I've been making really big around music my whole life. When I came back from school, after I went to school for like a year in Virginia, I ain't, you know what I'm saying, college went for me. I played that sports shit for a long, long you went to college? 
I went for a year, bro. I ain't even finished the whole school year. Shit, year. nigga, I went six months. Nigga, fuck you talking about? <laughs> 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 no, shit, shit, I knew one minute when I was enrolling. Everybody <laughs> should at least go just to see if you don't like the shit. That oh, shit yeah, fun, yeah. though. I ain't gonna lie. No, I wouldn't tell nobody not that to go, fun. but it wasn't for me, though. Yeah. Uh, you like living on your own fucking hole, man. Go to school. <laughs> but you gotta figure out how to do that shit with no money. <laughs> And they, they ain't no bitches ain't got no money. money. Yeah, they so you ain't fucking around, bitch. You like, man, we gonna get me back. We ain't doing that. You about to have a bitch, you looking for a job? I'm looking for a job. <laughs> that shit embarrassing as hell when you're trying to have sex and your stomach growl real loud. <laughs> pop, pop. <laughs> ah, I am sorry. Ah. I am so sorry. <laughs> nigga is a genius, man. No, he is. This nigga crazy. <laughs> He ain't been fucking at your stomach, bro. <laughs> you bend, you flip her ass over and hugs ground too. <laughs> nah, that's a poop coming. I know you about to poop. That big stomach. You look, flat. Little gas ass. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Color, your women better be fine like a motherfucker. You know? <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, once you, I'm 37, bro. Once you get to this age, I'm straight. Smoking? Yeah, 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 bro. Uh, I, ain't, I, ain't gonna gonna smoke, I ain't gonna smoke any of this shit, though. He ain't gonna yeah. smoke what? He trying to get you ain't in no classroom. I know I ain't in no, I'm just trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be you know. over here tripping, man. I'm, be, I'm, be, I'm you just chilling. You I'm chilling. Nah, no, I ain't dropping. I ain't dropping. Right, yeah, I'm just chilling. Feeling, nigga? Wanna roll your weed? But I was telling you. Nah, I'm gonna smoke when you get back to your crib. Yeah. <laughs> about, yeah, when you get to a certain age, they don't hold them farts no more. <laughs> they let them go. They let them go. It like, it like when you itch and you, they, right. they can't hit. Right. What happened? What happened? I guess they figured, yeah. Who <laughs> bitches trying to pivot on you? What happened? What, what, what was that? <laughs> bitch, you know you pooty. Wait a minute, why y'all, why did they embarrass me all the part? No. <laughs> Don't look at me. Bitch, I ain't want to be. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? That shit was loud, bitch. What the fuck you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he gonna say it. He say it's Cuban though. Own up to your shit, bitch, dog. No. They not gonna. They, do they don't no, never they own up act to like a fart. They, they act like, like you like the you reason fart. why they fought it. Why you fought? Cause you just flipped me. me over, and then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so me flipping you over made your ass poots. <laughs> <laughs> You are lying, young lady. Ah. <laughs> you are lying. Oh my goodness, bro, that's hilarious. Whatever. They always make us the reason why they fought it. <laughs> they always lying on us. Why, why you looking at me? I'm nervous. <laughs> 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 Women act like you're supposed to drive to Alabama when they got a shit. Uh-uh, leave the house, like. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> like, I they don't, want, they don't never want you to go out, It's time for you to get out. Like, <laughs> no, you got a boo-boo going in there. Snaking in. Women always, you shit, always quiet yeah, they they shit, shit quiet in here. They shit quiet in here like this. <laughs> you in there walking, they put their feet up. They don't even want you to see the shadow. <laughs> Baby, you in there. Hey! <laughs> Try to open up. Hey! <laughs> Baby! You tap on the door. Go! Go somewhere! You can always tell when your girl just shit. She try to act like she cleaning up the bathroom. Nah, you're just thinking ass and shit. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you what really wrong with them. I done been in the hood. I done seen some. Some skit marks in the toilet. That's fucked up. Not only did you shit, bitch, you shit hard. <laughs> like that shit came out. That shit hit the toilet like we on. You was holding like, that. That shit never skit mark. Uh, you tell me the water couldn't even clean that up? <laughs> I'm talking about then your shit blue. I see it through the blue shit. I'm like, damn. <laughs> this bitch got blue water and a skit mark. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, oh shit. That's when you knew them food stamps hit, when you come home with that blue toilet water. <laughs> yeah, you come home, you got that blue toilet water. Them stamps didn't hit. <laughs> this dude is stupid. funny as hell. Oh shit. <laughs> Light the dope, man. I'm trying. You done lost the lighter? Hell no. 
My nigga, I you <laughs> tease. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's gonna come back. Like, so you was 10. You was 10, 10, nigga. Even though we high, nigga, we nah, still nah, nah, here. Man. You was 10. Your daddy nah. had you in the studio. Nigga had me in the studio, man. Young, you gotta like, sample some of your pop old music that didn't make it. Because you was like, I definitely be thinking about doing that. Like, he wasn't he, nobody. He, I don't like how you played him down. Like, man, he could have been cold. Nah, I said he didn't go. He ain't he, he, he keep pursuing it like he really wanted to. That's why he ain't take it where he really wanted to. He still be rapping now? Who? You pop. He, he be, this is his passion, so like, but he ain't take it to like. He just do it just to keep it like. Yeah, that's his, that's his, uh, yeah. He still be dissing niggas from 93. <laughs> yeah, that suck ass nigga Earl. I seen you down there working at the Walmart <laughs> God Center, nigga. I'm still spending rap money. <laughs> Sucker nigga Earl, man. Sucker ass nigga, Earl man. Earl that died and everything. I told them niggas in the nine deuce what it was. For the nine deuce and the nine tray. That's funny. He stay here now. He stay in Georgia now. Shit, so he moved down here. He stay in Augusta. Girl, that oh, what's up, man? Nah, that's, that's how it started, man. And then uh, what made me get into it back heavy, man, is uh, I, I had my little girl at 21. You yeah, I'm saying? fucking. She, that make you wrong. take, you yeah, when you make too. a whole baby, you'll find something to be good at. Yeah, hey, when boy. them babies come, you be like, shit, I always did like music. <laughs> 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 you want to? Nigga, you your tap me foot. <laughs> Go crazy. She going to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ain't it crazy, bro? That's what he said, man. Hey, that shit for real, for bro. Real. The church, yeah, hey, those yeah, children yeah. make you go find some yeah, shit, yeah. bro. You better get up on here. Yeah. I done started cutting hell on the low. He said, I'm cutting hell. That's what are you doing? Way. I'm trying to feed this baby. <laughs> <laughs> Take it from the top, guys. Five, six, seven. Talk from the top, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he said this shit's serious like it only happened to him. You know, I had my little girl. I had him. Him. <laughs> really? Take it from the top, guys. <laughs> Come on, guys, stay from the top. Let's go live. Stay <laughs> <laughs> from the top, guys. <laughs> ah! Oh, shit. Stay from the top, guys. Ah! Come on, Travis, get it again. Five, ah! six, seven, eight. It's hilarious. Come on, guys, take it from the top. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Man, this nigga's hilarious, bro. Funny as hell. Is it? Is it? Got to make it out of Nashville. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is crazy. I bro. ain't no damn country music singer. <laughs> <laughs> Walk out the house with the baby. I'm gonna make it, man. I know I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Is the tribe behind me? How could I lose, man? Crazy, I'm make it man. out of Nashville, man. I'm bigger than Murfreesboro. <laughs> Take it from the top. That's funny as fuck, man. Dad, I'm gonna cheat her, bro. Dead ass, though. Got me quiet, bro. Came from the top, <laughs> man, your team ain't shit. They laughing at you. No, nah, nah, we just yeah, fucking with you, man. Keep going. This shit good. This is a good story. Oh. So we got the baby in the studio taking shit serious. Oh, no, yeah, that's when uh, I decided forever to like oh. go hard at this shit. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of them arguments with your baby mama and your, your album ain't out yet. That'll make you get in that studio. <laughs> I need a real man. <laughs> Me and my baby gonna be straight regardless. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm gonna make it. Watch. <laughs> I do. <laughs> you call me when you get your shit together. <laughs> don't have my baby around no fucking tribe either. <laughs> Listen, they're not even like that. <laughs> We bigger than Murfreesboro. <laughs> you gonna see. You gonna see. Oh, We're doing the festival in Gatlinburg this year. It's gonna be big. Oh shit. What are you gonna do, Lo? 
Nu går du. Tænk for dig. He'll start over on the party fucked up on. He got to do the whole shit all over again. Oh, he's great. He don't punch in. He do it all in one take. Oh, fuck. Do it all in one take. Come on, man. Just do give it again. Top, guys. Come on, guys. I didn't feel that one. See you from the top. <laughs> all right. This nigga's shit. greatest, bro. This is stupid. Nah, he funny as hell, bro. Man, we fucking. All right. We're fucking so after with you. you took it from the top. <laughs> <laughs> you found the sauce. You done found the sauce. At this point, the baby two. The baby is two at this point. Five. five. Yeah. But I'm saying, by the time you hit the stroke, the stride with the music shit, the baby was just walking around about two. Right. Yeah, we did the Google shit. And we seen it. That nigga it was crazy, beautiful. bro. It was beautiful, man. That's funny. The baby started walking. That shit, the music started hitting. It did. You switched producers, I remember. <laughs> You see how you can just say it and get me <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, you know you can just punch this shit in. No, nah, we're taking this from the top. <laughs> I don't want to punch in shit. This got to be organic, man. We're taking this bitch all the way from the intro. That's funny. He don't even let me hear me. Who don't punch in? Who don't let you punch in? Long neck. Uh, no, 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 no. Call me white dude, that's an engineer, right? He don't let you punch in? No, man, fuck it. The top, bro. <laughs> You're not punching in shit because your voice sounds different. Yeah, take that shit from the top. Yeah, see, it do. Because you, once you already know what you're going to say, your inflection be different. You be stuck right there. So you're like, no, it's not it. You keep saying it the same fucking way, bro. You know what? Take it from the top. <laughs> he ain't wrong, though. He ain't wrong. Oh, ain't. Listen to him. He might know what the fuck going on. Oh, after all that, after all that, where you at now with the music? Like, what's, what are your projects? Like, have you, like, you in the studio? What's yeah. happening? Shit, uh, in about a calendar year, we done did three EPs. The first one, Talk uh, your shit. The anniversary coming up this month, actually. The first one was called Cash You Alien. And mm -hmm. then the two after that was uh, No Swan of Scale 1 and 2. Right. And, uh, yeah, man, uh, singles in between. I heard you been working with J.O.E. Tell you when, Y'all got some I mean, shit, J.O.N. You over here with your ass yeah. on, Jay. Uh, we about to do that. Uh, yeah, so you the other the producer that got to tell him take it from the top. Man, the <laughs> Just so ironic, y'all both from Tennessee. He from yeah, up there with his granddaddy there from You from Tennessee? Yeah. What part? West Tennessee. The fuck? Where the hell is West Tennessee? What? <laughs> BC, that means it's a small ass town. When a nigga just tell you the area, <laughs> where you from? You know, up there by New York and shit. <laughs> but which part? Well, well, West Tennessee. West, well, actually, the whole state. Yeah, it's actually West Virginia, but it's on the way to New York. <laughs> like if you was driving to New York, you would have to pass right through where I'm from. Denmark. Yeah, that's oh, country. Nigga, say oh, that, shit. nigga. Because it's on the highway. Denmark? I ain't even been there. Yeah. Oh, West Tennessee. Yeah, you ain't heard of it. Where you from? I'm from the nah, West. Nah, I heard. I ain't never been there. West. Yeah, you ain't. Yeah, because it's back off the main up. road. You got to get off a highway to go to Denmark. That shit the ain't nothing down there but good fish and thick women. Denmark off the chain. Yeah, I had a show out there. What you talking about? In Denmark, Denmark Tennessee. Chain. What? Yeah, there's a lot of thick ass women down there. It's thick women everywhere. Oh. Uh -huh. Especially in the South. Take it for the top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But once you look in the South and you start seeing like all them little bit ass women, you be like, man, I'm ready, ready to go home. These women too thin. I ain't even gonna lie, but I remember one time I hit a thick girl. Hey, I was like, whew. I, whew. She almost had me intimidate. For real? But I ain't. Get what? You are never supposed to be in Take it from the top. Take it straight from the top. <laughs> I take it from the top. Oh, yeah. I threw it right she? in it. I was in it. Damn near big girl. Man, it wasn't even that. It was just the principal, like, she was big. Like, I always been a little. I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna tell you the like, trick to hitting the big girl. Around me. You got to listen for the sound. What? If your rhythm off, you ain't hitting it right. Like, when a big girl, like, if you hitting it from the back and you hear that, plop, plop. Right. Stay where you at. Right. You but, if you, but if you're doing all that and you don't hit them, because all that ain't even dick. They got a lot of creases. So if you right. hitting a few creases, you good. I, I, I hit a big girl and hey, hey, hey. I, we were fucking, but it was like, damn. Right. She had so much leg. I, right. I, I ain't even know how sexy a leg could be. Like, 
It's a lot of lick right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm here, I'm rubbing to get the leg. No, I'm like, but see, damn. he is not lying because you get, you get a thick ass leg, you don't need but one. You can just grab just that. Just hold, hold that leg. Just hold, hold that little. Wink, wink, wink. It's like, wink, it's wink. like you getting some pussy and wrestling an alligator at the same time. That's yeah, right. I'm trying to pull a pipe what? out in it. <laughs> I found, a, I found a new way to hit some pussy the other day. My house, I was hitting it with some house shoes on and my house shoes slipped. So Ooh. I was at the angle, but I was still dropping dick at like a 37. Yes, sir. I was in there like I was about to jump in double dutching. Yes, sir. I ain't even find the shoe. I just stayed right there. <laughs> Hey, see, I don't even want to tell nobody my move. Don't, nigga be but stealing. they can have that one. Nigga that be was stealing, accident. acting like they created it. You like that, doing you? Shut <laughs> up, nigga. Somebody put you on to that move, nigga. I got an edge of the bed move. <laughs> Edge. You gotta get on the edge. All Literally. the way on the edge. Literally right here. You got to give yourself room. Nah, your solar plex got to be right. Uh, hell no. <laughs> what? That shit made my back burn. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you enjoy that while you young, nigga. <laughs> Fuck no, man. I ain't picking her big ass up and trying to levitate and dance throw dick. You pick one. You want to be picked up or fucked? I'm <laughs> not about to do both of them. I'm not about to do both of them. Fuck around and have a heart attack. Trying to drop dick and be athletic. Fucking heart beating all fast. <laughs> My fucking veins and shit popping out. Why is it so hot? Pussy <laughs> <laughs> make the room turn to a thousand degrees. You ever get through fucking like the heat pop on? God <laughs> Why am I wet everywhere? That's that energy. That's that energy, OG. Yeah. You got to get it to him. My bad. Go ahead, Nick. Nice. <laughs> we just see the music make you talk about fucking because we know you got some good fucking songs. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no fucking songs. I need to make some, huh? Yeah, you slime notes. Fuck. You ain't looking for shit. Now, do you know we always got something coming from the research department? Talk, talk your shit in. He asked me to ask about the live album. Oh yeah, man, a live album, bro. We we in the process of making the live album, man. Uh, shout out to this nigga said, yeah, the live the album. Live we album, in the process man, the of making the live album. <laughs> the process of making a live album. Bro. No Sony Scale Two live album, bro. Yeah, we uh we working on that, man. And it's it's a uh, it's already sounding crazy. Shout out to Jay uh -huh. I want to get on that shit. I got a lot to say. You got, you got some. And you the Nashville man, alien. You might as well. Yeah, exactly. So shit. I you might go say on the track. Man, take it from the top. Take it from the top. <laughs> wing him, <laughs> wing him. <laughs> I want to. I want everybody in the tribe involved in this project. I need a piece. I need everybody to contribute their piece. Hold on. So y'all rap. Let me hear a song. Let me huh? hear a song. Let me hear a song. What you? You rap, don't you? Let me hear a song. You have some. I got some shit. Man, I, 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 I do music. I know. What I'm saying. Oh, Man, that's what we're putting these niggas. Yeah, yeah, that's what we do. Make, 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 make a rap. Yeah. You rap, nigga. Got no bars, yeah. man. You got you no got bars. Well, but just make up some, man. Like, yeah. This what y'all do. do what know? we do. I'm trying to hear some. Somebody go. Somebody go. Somebody say something. Oh, somebody say take, something. take it from I'm the top. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I came from the top. I came here to be entertained. No, no, what I'm saying. Yeah. You came here to be entertained, but they gotta know you. So we want to show you. Yeah, you got a rap on it, beat right here. Somebody talk, please. Yeah, because we going to take it from the top. Hey, hey. Hey, if I say, I'm never going to stop. Come on. <laughs> Better rap, my nigga, don't uh, fly. Come on. Leave her around here, ain't going to fly. Come on. Ah! <laughs> and then if you ain't got nothing to say, just move your feet, nigga. <laughs> take it from the top. Take it from the top. Take it from the top, nigga. Take it from the top. Take it from the top, nigga. Take it from the top. Everybody in the room about to take it from the top. Yeah. That should be hard. Nah, I will. I keep putting this goddamn hand sanitizer on. I don't give a fuck. That's how I'm living. I seen some shit one. I think P Diddy had done said something. Nigga was like, he do music. And P Diddy put him on the spot. I was like, let me hear something. And then nigga ain't do nothing. And then Diddy was like, see, this the opportunity right here. Cause you say you do it and you don't do it. I don't want to know that you really do it. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Really? Cause it's a platform to, to, to show the people who you with. You rap, it don't matter if you gon' goddamn, think that you gon' fuck up, nigga. That shouldn't even be in your heart. You feel me? Flow with that shit. Goddamn, keep that big. You rap, spit that shit. Quit playing, <laughs> hit that big. Let go. Yo. <laughs> You never here. know! So funny, Come man. on! Who watch the show? Come on, guys! Yo. You fuck with that? You don't fuck with that. You don't know nothing Yo. about that one right now. Yo. <laughs>
Some Gotta lick the blunt again. Lit the blunt again? Gotta lick the blunt again. Gotta lick the blunt again. Shit came on the rubber. Gotta lick the blunt again. Gotta lick the blunt again, but the blunt went out. Yeah. But the blunt went out. What about the tribe? One of y'all nigga rock, don't? Nope. Come here, that shit. She been wanting to rap with you and smoke with you. Come here, man. Come here, man. She been wanting. Motherfucker in the back, like, let me hit the blood. The fuck? <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna hit the blood. Come Yo. on. And we can have some fun. Come on, yeah. come on. Light a spark it up. Come yeah. on. Take a puff. Yeah. Come on. back to them. Yeah. Come on. All of them, my friends. Come yeah. on. Some of them, like Ken. Yeah. What? I'm Ryan. Yeah. Can I hit the blunt? Yeah, you can hit the blunt. <laughs> Come on, fuck up here. Smoke with you for the longest. No cap. Boy, your hair look like SpongeBob house. What's your hair look like? On your ass. For real though. Well, my but, shit fucked up. You got a piece of lint right in the front. Let me Boy, you got an old ass. You got a receiving hairline. I'm on your ass. Hey! Put a lighter in. You got Dre and then a receiving put hairline. Hey! Ding, ding. What? You look like you work for Verizon, ugly girl. Oh, yeah. You gonna work for me, ugly. Put a lighter. Yeah. She need the lighter. You like, you like to camp outside, don't? No, nah, for real. You like to do everything outside. outside. No, but for real though. Go outside. Like we raining. Okay, let's just raining. go. <laughs> but on some real shit though, you do look like a cute ass onion. <laughs> let's just go. <laughs> But this is what I came for, and this is what I got. So fuck the face. Hey! What's the fucking with you? Nah, shit. Yo, ass look like you used to sell snacks in high school. Big lad, girl. 50 cent. 50 cent. This shit. Come on. Y'all want some snacks and shit? You already got some. Yeah, them bitches out. They gonna eat. No, but on some real shit, put me on the album. I wanted to get them, get down. Because I know that you got a great energy about yourself, man, and we really just got them wanted you to come on the show and kick some flavor with yeah, coke yeah. that shit just like you've been doing. Get a good intro, you know what I'm saying? We you gotta, fuck with our people too, exactly. so you like family, nigga, I'm so it ain't like, you know sure, what I'm man. saying? We kick shit, we talk shit, but nigga, you really family, you dig what I'm saying? Cause you gonna right. be around people that we fuck with and that we love, so nigga, you around. I'm about to say, you wanna hit the blunt again? God damn! <laughs> man, you, you see me, I was on it, I'm like, God damn! <laughs> Damn! Oh, Shawty, you can get that bit. <laughs> but yeah, man, we wanted to come and introduce you to a whole new platform and, and nah, let the people man, know what you got coming up. For sure, man. Now we uh, fucking with it. Like I said, man, we, we working on that live album, the No Stone Scale 2 live album, man. And uh, like I said, shout out to the people that's done help us get this far and do that shit. 85th South Show, man. 85th. 85, shout out to J-O-N, man. My guys in the band, they putting in hard work, bro. Man. That shit sounded crazy. You straight? It's gonna be crazy, yeah. You probably did that shit on purpose. what I do on purpose? You said the 85th South. <laughs> that nigga crazy. See, we've been fucking, with, nigga. We've been fucking with him so long, yeah, he don't remember the name. Hey, man, the 94th. Nigga, it's 85th. Nigga, it's 85th. It's 85th. It's 85th. It's All the niggas over there at 92 Central, man, you know. <laughs> Everybody over there at 87.9. Morning show. I, I love it on purpose. <laughs> nice no, 85 South Show. Shout out to 85. Did it on purpose, ugly man? I did. Oh. Just to fuck with you. It's yeah. all good, man. Looking forward to your project. I know J.O. ain't gonna lace you with some heat, man. Shout out to the tribe. Shout out to the tribe, man. Hell yeah, Johnny XX. <laughs> this is Johnny XX. What's his name? That's his new name now. What, what is it? It's something. Jordan. XX. Jordan. What's up, boy? It, up? Daddy probably Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you on Big Johnny. XX. Right, I've been flip -flop. nasty. Two X. Berkey. Them niggas wear Crocs. You know they serious. They probably rapping about all them pimping, nurses selling dope everything. <laughs> That nigga got on some crock. You know he rap about recycling. Look, you need to save your trash. Don't throw it in the ocean. Save your you trash. Need to save your trash. Don't uh -huh. throw it in the ocean. In the you like, need Whoa. to save your trash. Don't throw it in the ocean. You need to save your trash. Don't throw it in the ocean. Straws kill. Save. Turtles. Save. Turtles kill. Save. Straws and save. people. Save. <laughs> save. Trying to save the earth and shit. Ah! This nigga like the earth flat. Said he rap about recycling. <laughs> nigga be rapping about recycling. Put the trash in the dumps. Global save warming. Save the earth. Global warming. <laughs> Still to this day, I don't know what global warming is. The earth is flat, black man. Don't ever think different. <laughs> it's round. <laughs> That's what's up, man. What else been going on in the Ville, though, before you split, man? Give us, because, you know, we like to know what's going on in the cities 
around the world. You've been in Nashville. Let us know what, what's going on in the black community over there, man. What they got going on around the city? What they talking about? Uh, shit, cultivating a, 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 a different space. Cause you know, like, oh shit, if y'all done been in Nashville, it's really. Bro, they Would got you? so much love for us in Nashville. Nashville, I've changed. I fuck with the whole blood. state of Tennessee. Bro, I, I, I guess sold out so many shows <laughs> in Nashville one time. I just wanted to stay as long. I was like, I want to see how long I can stay here before like the show stops selling. Like, what, in you know, Tennessee? Man, I, I'm Nashville. literally, the last time I went to Nashville, I think I did eight shows. I'm definitely saying I think I did nine. Exactly. Wait, we're talking about the corner spot? What's the, what's the spot? Zanus, yeah. oh my man, that's a man, that's probably one of the littest spots I done did comedy at. I don't that's know. That's what I'm saying. Like that little room off the chain, keep boy. Now, just keep in every night. It's a different crowd. Now. And they just coming out, you just see me in the park like niggas be like, boy, I had a good ass time. Yeah. <laughs> see, I like Tennessee because motherfuckers out there they enjoy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all go we, if you ever perform anywhere in Tennessee. Man, you definitely gonna have a good time. If they ever did something to you, that means you the fuck nigga. Right. No, yeah, they yeah, show much yeah. love out there, man. That's yeah, all they do. Know. They just be welcome you. Open on. That's when I'm when the world open back up, I'm gonna just go to places that I know the fuck with me and just see how long I can be there before they be like, nigga, go somewhere. Hell. <laughs> like Baltimore. Nah, Nashville ain't gonna kick you out. They might. Baltimore, man, yeah. That motherfucker, you can sell out Baltimore. Nigga, the comedy club in the hotel. I just walk down and do the show, go straight up and go to bed. I ain't staying now. Yeah, I will. Hell I'll nah. take, I'll take Hell you. Hell no. Nah. They like, nigga be down there like, you, you stay here. I'll be like, shit, I was. But you know what? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga that know he done followed me to my door. I'm finna go. <laughs> that hotel is. This nigga on the up, same man. floor I'm on. <laughs> yep. They are trying to rob me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that hotel fucked up. I stayed at that bitch. I was when I got off the elevator. I was like, nigga, the lights is out on this floor. I don't want to be on this bitch. They're like a trap house. Nigga, bought me. He said, man, you know we can put you in the hotel. No, I know the fuck you can. In the hotel now. I'm like, no. Got me fucked up. It's nice. No, it's not. Everybody who goes to the who goes there at the show, stay in the hotel, bro. Nah. Everybody. Not me. That shit hilarious. I fool. I love Baltimore though. Me too. I miss doing shows there. and shit. You about to go back? I'm about to go back on the road. I see. If whenever we drop this, I guess, let me talk in the future. I, I'm going to be in uh, <laughs> Mississippi, <laughs> Jackson, uh, today. When, you from the ship, man. If y'all drop it today. From the ship, man. Whatever yeah. day I think, I'm going to be there. I'm from Oxford. I'm talking <laughs> in the future. Nigga's like, the what the fuck you talking what about? What part from the ship? <laughs> Jackson. What up, Jew? He's from Law. He's from Law. Law? Yeah. Close enough. Hey, the bird, I know what Laurel is. <laughs> like, what the fuck is he talking about? What? I'm talking to the future. Who? Oh, yeah. That's the Mississippi shit. You don't know about that. Uh, Jackson, whatever we drop this, I'll be there. Yeah, you'll be a chuckle. We, we dropping, I'll be dropping, right? Hey, man, on some real shit, motherfucker called me for a show, made me an offer. I said, I don't give a fuck what's outside. I'm gonna <laughs> be at that bitch. <laughs> Give a fuck if I got to show up with that Homer Simpson suit on. I'm going to that <laughs> motherfucker. I would that. Be the, even if I have to goddamn stand on the side of the show and peek my head out, I'm being in that bitch. Man, the pandemic was so crazy. I'm like, my nigga, <clears throat> I'm not going looking for no job. Me either. I said, this shit get crazy, bro. I said, bro, I'm not looking for no job. I ain't mean to say that motherfucker. I'm not looking for no job. I ain't me either, but. What? Unless that motherfucker pay good. This motherfucker paying great. That motherfucker pay good. I'm a goddamn boy. Hey, hey. shit, Mike. We out for shit, Mike. Gotta go get another check. Shit. This Why motherfucker. Why you said they need help? Yeah, I'm going to that. <laughs> I'm going to be there. 25 and now. I'm leaving early. You say I'm what? Driving down that bitch. And they go blow me up some boxes. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck a job. I ain't never going to be made for no job. Who you? Hell no. I'm too, I, I ain't too good for a job. I just take over, bro, and I don't try to, bro. Like. I don't understand. Anybody who's working at a job, you got to have this killer mentality, bro. If you at a job, how are you com feel comfortable to be complacent and just okay with right now? If, nigga, say for you, if I was to work at McDonald's, I'm not saying if you work at McDonald's, it's wrong. This would be my pers perspective if I work. If I started on the fries, my nigga, I'm on the fries. <laughs> Flipping a bit. <laughs> but in my mind, I'm like, nigga, I'm finna get a franchise. Nigga, I'm finna, I see the, the supervisor, the manager ain't shit. Cause when the supervisor come up here, the manager tighten up. So I'm like, okay, the manager really don't run shit. You feel me? I gotta get cool with the supervisor. So when the supervisor come on, he see me working. Sweeping extra every time the supervisor come. Hey, let me holler at you, big dog. 
I know you're gonna want somebody else to run a McDonald's for you. Man, yeah, but I'm up here, but I'm up here every day. Ask the manager about me. He, well, he can vouch for me. Get what? You're gonna open up another store and get who gonna be working over there at that store as the manager. Me, nigga. What the fuck you mean? Nigga, I ain't, I ain't staying on no motherfucking fried fuck, nigga. See, I'm gonna take I, over, nigga. My whole mindset different. If I was at the McDonald's, I wouldn't be there but one check. Cause God if damn. I get, Cause look, if I, get, cause if I get cold on the fries, they make McDonald's, bro. I'm finna go downtown and act like I was running that bitch anyway. Like, look, you know what I'm saying? I'm skilled and I work all these fries, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and I'm good with money and I'm, I'm sociable. So you, right. I'm, I'm really an asset. You can check my references. I just, I just damn near won the competition for cooking fries over there. You can call my partner over there. Right. My man, Eric Wilson, he was the supervisor and shit. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he's the president of the bank. We started out together. Right. You know, it was me and him. I was working breakfast. He was coming in at 10. So I was doing the breakfast prep. So my reputation is flawless. So you're going so to get a you finna go get a loan? I'm gonna take my job experience and get a better job, is basically all I'm saying. See? I'm about to take my McDonald's skills. If I'm gonna be in the restaurant industry, I need to be down there where they're serving the, the expensive shit. Right. If I gotta be serving something. See, everybody look but different. See, when it comes to jobs, I ain't have no look. This is the thing. I don't about I don't job, feel like a hundred gazillion I've been on the all the time. Huh? I be wanting to raise all the time. <laughs> See, you got like the job, though, Lois. I done filled out a gazillion applications. Had multiple temp service. You know what a temp service job is? That's the thing. They act like you hired, nigga. <laughs> The you, they make you work hard as fuck and be what? like, take your fuck ass home, bitch. I don't need you tomorrow. You ain't got no job. And I made you do my job for me ass. That's like, what bro. the fucking temp service do. They hire you job. to fill in for the motherfuckers that the company don't have no more. And they, they pay you enough just so they can, everybody can eat. And then temp service, you got to wait four to five days for you to get your money. Man. Well, yeah, I had four different jobs that day, that week. <laughs> I had to wait four to five days for four different paychecks. I'm like, where's my money? Mm -mm. Hey, that's the reason. Why I got thirty-seven dollars from four niggas. Where is my money, man? That's the shit that's gonna make me quit. <laughs> Nigga, I'm down at the tip service, like, bro. I know what all four of these places. Where's my check, bro? Why ain't nobody gonna hire me permanently, bro? What's up? Y'all told me, but nigga, you and me for a week, you automatically hired permanently. This is the thing, bro. Motherfuckers, whoever had a, a temp <laughs> service a job, temp service. You, I know some niggas who got the job, like a summer job, for right. the temp service, and just kept going, and just anyway. never stopped going to the fucking job. And, just kept going and, and anyway. Eventually got the job, but they was going anyway. The temp service program was long over with. How, about, how the hell you get? See, my partner got put on from the temp service. That's what just, I'm saying. The temp service job just only used up like some bitches, and was just like, all right, go back home. Right. I don't even get working no more fucking job. Cause well, if I, I do, it gotta be like cash the same day. I used to be a parking attendant. I used to park cars at Turner Field. But see, now I know what I know That was my real about. job. I had for a month and a half and the bitch fired me because I didn't want to work in the rain. Mm -mm. They, they're supposed to fire you. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Because a job like that is just, that job is good for a young person like you. You're supposed to learn about life and you're supposed to steal you some money. I ain't learned shit from that job. It was hot as fuck. It was hot as hell. Have you ever worked at the jobs. baseball season in the parking lot, nigga? When you got a job like that and, it's, and it requires that much and they trust in you, you're supposed to steal you some. You Every so. car you park for them, you're supposed to park you a car. You try that, but that shit get aggravating <laughs> when you telling the nigga, because you got a car system and you trying to park a car and he telling you he going to park where he want to park. Like, hold on, homie, we got a problem. Right. I got a whole system. You need to park next to this car. And I'm like, Choo -choo, hold up, bitch. Oh, see, it's hot out here. It was too much for me. I couldn't do it. She fired my ass. Yeah, man. That's, a, that's another thing that you learn about life. You got to get fired, too. Yeah. You got to get fired. It that ain't a good feeling. Character. That's not a good feeling. Yeah. No. When you get fired, it's like, I, I, I can't really explain it. But that's the thing. Sometimes <laughs> it ain't got shit to do with you. Sometimes people just lose their job because they work for a broke-ass company. It ain't that you do shit. You, ain't, you was doing Braves your job broke, great. Man. These niggas rather <laughs> save face and act like, well, we going in another direction. <laughs> Bitch, y'all ain't got no money. Hey, the brains to this day don't even know how you can work for them. <laughs> yeah, that's because they ain't got shit know. to do with that. That's crazy. You used to work for the company that they hired. It what, for the parking lot yeah. company? They used to get the money too, though. That's what I'm saying. They hired them. Damn. You was working for a motherfucker that was working for a motherfucker. That's what, that's what Eric was just saying. That's how your money get fucked up. You start putting all these middlemen in between your shit by the time you get your money. No. 
But you know, I ain't trying to preach to you. I'm trying to reach to you. Look how this nigga open the chips. Who still open that chip like that? I can't hear it. I don't like doing that shit like this. That's a bud chip. Like, bro, what the fuck? Don't open your chip around me like that, bro. Then you be like, bro, I'm so hungry. Like, bro. <laughs> give me the chip, bro. Give me the chip. <laughs> hey, give me the chip, bro. What's going on? You want to go so good, bro. <laughs> Niggas opening chips the right way, rub you the wrong way. Well, I don't like it. That's what I said. <laughs> you too hungry, bro. Move. <laughs> hey, man, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? <laughs> God, bro, nigga be tripping, bro. I've oh, been God. asking you this shit for the longest, but something is seriously wrong with you, bro. All right, bro, I had a good childhood, bro. I'm glad I'm good. Oh, shit. I laughed at a lot of shit that wasn't supposed to be laughed at. <laughs> Run, this is what happened when you come on the trap, man. We just talk <laughs> shit and all this shit. Man. Oh, my God, bro. Where the fuck Johnny XX go? <laughs> Jordan. Dude, come I'm on, just you. Bring your ass back, man. You good? Man, I'm glad y'all came through to kick it, man. We nah, most definitely gonna hands, be bro. opening up the network, looking forward to your future projects and shit like that, Thank man. You, Anything you want to leave them with? Yeah. Uh, man, please uh, check out the EPs, man. Uh, Casual Alien, Notes on the Scale 1 and 2. And the live album, Notes on the Scale 2, coming. <laughs> but, yeah, man, please be on the lookout. We do got merch coming, man. I know you asked you me earlier. You better hurry up. We got merch coming. We got a lot of shit coming, man, bro. Man, do that shit, shit one more time, bro. Do one more time. With motivation. Yeah, one more motivation, time. Go man. crazy. Let them folks know who the fuck you is. Hey, Tell man, them it's, it's Rhino Bossy, man. Fuck like your said. shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, pop it, pop hey, it. He love it. Yeah, yeah, bring that three, energy, yo. Got three EPs out, man. One of them, Casual Alien, Notes on the Scale, one and two. We got the live album that will be out soon. You know what I'm saying? Right. We got merch on the way. Right. Third That's out. A, 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 this nigga's stupid, man. Yeah, third third out. out. No, shout out to Squad for real, though. Third out. Third Check out. Check out. All the Hell artists. Yeah. They wearing Crocs and sandals. I'm getting a little game. A nigga gonna only respect your shit how you respect it. Yeah. D. For sure. D. For sure. D. They, they gonna give the energy you give. D. And they gonna judge you on how you open your chips, too. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga <laughs> took the whole bag in. How, how did nigga open your chips? He must have been good, bro. I ain't seen a nigga open chips how he opened it in a goddamn a decade. Yeah, yeah. That nigga bust them hoes up with chips. Motherfucker be looking for They like, I'm just trying to find a gray spot. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I, I gotta have some chips now, nigga. I gotta open them bitches just like you said. Yeah, nigga, these bitches so good. <laughs> <laughs> This is the 85 South Show, man. We out these bitches. Oh! Dude, you are crazy. Do we have any ads? Oh, shit. You should have been told me. Nah, man. This is. It's, it's so crazy, my nigga. Appreciate it. I do not. Ooh, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> hey, man. Y'all ready? What we doing? What we doing? We gotta do an ad for this merch. Oh! For the merch! <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. You thought this was a person? <laughs> no, nigga, that's a sweater. Oh! Y'all nigga go get the 85 South merch! You did! Yeah, use the code SAVE15. You can get 15% off your order. Over $75. Right Some now. Some shit like that. Just type the code in and see what happens. Type it in. <laughs> No, this, for real. Just type this shit in and see what happens. Yeah, what? And every website that you check out and they ask for a code and you don't have one, type in 85 South. Just see what happens. <laughs> Just see what happens. These Might are good get 15% chips. off. Bruh, we bought these chips with our own money. This oh. ain't no fucking paid ad. These are some good ass chips. Yeah, they yeah. must be fresh. I'm talking about Big Variety. Use that code. 30 bags of chips. Go get some merch. 30 bags of chips. We bought 30 bags of chips. And we do not open them like this. We do not open I do. Fuck you. <laughs> Hit the website, man. We out of here. 85 apparel. See you tomorrow. You did. That's how you do it. One take, Jake. I remember they just had these motherfuckers having the numbers on them, having niggas collect these bitches. I'm stupid ass, man. 
Do what? Give me, give me your bag, man. I gotta save him, man. I get a prize. You don't get no damn prize. Whoever got a prize, I'm saving these bitches. Tell the truth. Mm -hmm. You thought you was gonna win that McDonald's Monopoly shit, didn't you? Who? Hell yeah! <laughs> I played that shit. That little shit that you rip off and put in the bag. I used to tell my father, man, don't fit for that shit like that shit. You ain't never going on no sweep state. You ain't going on no cruise, motherfucker. I, I used to do a little boxing like, fit his ass, you can win the cruise. Ooh, man, you want to go to Hawaii? I'm going to put my name down. Bitch, you ain't going to no damn Hawaii. Mm -mm. Where, where was that shit going to? All that information. That how them folks done stole all that information and put it into a database. All the damn commercials But every grocery store had a sweep state cruise. Little thing. Not even at a grocery store. Nigga, any check cashing place, any anything. Had something for you to fill out where you can go on a free cruise. And nigga was like, man, you know niggas ain't even filling this shit out no more. They just started taking the boxes on the low. Go get that one at the grocery store. Man, y'all had the baby. Y'all had the baby? Yeah, we had the baby. She only wanted to tell about it. Mm. She wanna wait. Mm. We all remember. Nala, honey. I knew it. Yeah. Load it, brother. Congratulations, man. Appreciate you, brother. You need me? Oh, okay. You got to fucking around, me. What's the word? Come up here. What the fuck? Oh. I mean, come on up here, Chad. Trying to be a producer and shit. You got to have something. Come on, give us five minutes. Give us an update. Talk some, talk some business talk, nigga. Man, you gonna bring your little light skin ass on up here? What we got? They swear we gonna be talking business. Fuck that. <laughs> I ain't worried about it. I'll tell you what I got coming up. <laughs> You about to start this OnlyFans page. Just walking around locations with a big dick. No. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. <laughs> Going around with a dick print. <laughs> Everywhere. Subscribe now. Ladies only. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I'm jumping off this OnlyFans page. Uh, shit, stop. Working, about time man. I get paid for my real talent. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm not trying to get paid for my real talent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just bullshitting, but these niggas getting money off this shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna let motherfucker know you are doing porn. Yeah. You don't own the fan, I don't give a fuck. You're doing porn. Porn! You're doing porn! Every time you upload something, you're doing porn! <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, what it is. Like, I don't give a fuck. I ain't knocking you shit. Make your money. Shit. That shit crazy. Like, motherfuckers be like, man, they just, they just fuck and put it on I'm the fan. I don't get it. Like, I'm freaky, but like, I ain't that freaky. Ain't, ain't that freaky. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't give a fuck about all that shit. For real. You're doing porn. $50, you can see some pussy. Some pussy. <laughs> that the type of pussy. That that pussy on the goddamn on the fan. What's on that pussy? <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> I ain't buying it. Uh-uh, I'm straight. I, I, I still don't even know how to even get an account or even do the shit. I don't even know how to do it. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, what type of nigga is looking literally like corner on the fan right now? I'm talking about they just watching motherfuckers. You'd be surprised. That motherfucker paying a whole hundred, hundred fifty, two hundred just to watch somebody ass. Y'all nosy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Better pay this bitch a thousand dollars and see what she doing. <laughs> <laughs> like, this what the world coming to, man. Like anybody on this motherfucker, y'all niggas is crazy. <laughs> You're doing porn. <laughs> like, bro, this is how many weirdo motherfuckers. Like, I made 60,000. Yeah. You got 60,000? Woo! Hey, boy, that shit tilting in the motherfucker, ain't it? Woo! 
Bài đi mưa video quá. Bị bay xịt tay bay. I'm like that way that shit gonna wear off though. Tell you why I couldn't do this shit. Mine and a half that shit gonna wear off. I couldn't do that. Cause I fall asleep right after I fuck. I been and left my camera on. Motherfucker just laying out. Dick soft in here, sleep like one of us. Shit set up. Ooh. You fuck around and get the camera cut off. You wanna post this on the page? Hell no. It's four hours of a nigga sleep with a soft dick. <laughs> <coughs> nigga on there knocked out. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, that nigga went to sleep. <laughs> you gonna wake up? It's gonna be four gay dudes in the oh. comments. Wake up, sleepyhead. Oh. Sleep, you oh. must have been tired, Mr. Man. Oh, that nigga is funny, boy. Oh. Wake oh. up, sleepy head. Funny, boy. That shit funny as fuck. <laughs> hey, boy. When y'all put this up, tell me. I wanna go rewatch this shit. <laughs> That's all they gonna be like, hey boy, you see, boy, that nigga went to sleep, boy. <laughs> Damn, that funny as hell, boy. That shit crazy, bro. Real, I, I imagine that entire thing, bro. 
That shit funny as hell. The girl done left two hours ago. But you funny as fuck, boy. Oh my God. Who? Only fans. Can't even stop laughing, man. My stomach was like, stop. <laughs> I'm like, I can't. <laughs> it's still away. Oh shit. <laughs> Why did he say the girl left? <laughs> She been gone. <laughs> Who's telling the girl chat? <laughs> oh shit. How are you doing, Mr. H leave me here? <laughs> you was tired, Mr. Man. Oh, you're tired. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna be mad hey. when you read them comments. So this is what we doing? <laughs> Niggas they go get up, they be like, yeah. Damn. You go be scrolling them comments. Damn. They Not gonna be nothing. right up <laughs> in there. <laughs> Did you see when he turned Woo. on his side? Fire, fire, fire emoji. It's over with. You a whole hoe out here, <laughs> trying to be provocative. <laughs> You that need an editor. Funny, you can't boy. fuck on the live stream. That shit was funny, boy. <laughs> that, that ain't crazy, boy. <laughs> hey, hey, I don't even know how he just came up with that shit. That shit was crazy. That's just, I mean, you can't be fucking I on, can't on do the that. Thing. Too much shit can possibly go wrong. What if you get on there, you get the live stream set up, you trying to fuck, you nut real quick, you had to apologize. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> try, try that bitch again, man, my bad. <laughs> I ain't even gonna waste y'all time, my nigga. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> man, this nigga is a genius, man. This nigga crazy, man. Can't be on this shit. put that in your stand up, please. Oh, that's hilarious, bro. <laughs> what? That shit funny as fuck. Boy, that OnlyFans gonna ruin some, it's gonna fuck a lot of people up. It's gonna help a few, but a few of them gonna catch it. That's gonna be the downfall. Ooh, that's You're on there trying to be too hell, freaky. Bro. Ooh, that shit so funny, bro. I'm gonna be driving thinking about that shit. Yeah, nigga that sleep nigga on that bitch. Sleep? Yeah, oh. like he did, son, too. The lay yeah, back in yeah. that thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna wake up and see them comments. Well, finally, sleepyhead. Oh, that's funny as hell, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, I wonder boy. if you could do that. Just make a page, just go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> just go to sleep. You can just, 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 just do it, just go live. Yeah. So, so, so I, I, I heard. Okay. That's <laughs> what I'm gonna start doing stand up at on OnlyFans with my shirt on. Okay. Shirt off. Oh. Nipple covers on. What's up? What the freak's that? <laughs> <laughs> Just do I all pussy it. jokes. <laughs> Just all jokes about sex. <laughs> what you gonna say out of That y'all yeah, know until somebody got on there and pulled it, their ass out. Eventually it's four point and motherfucker was like, all right. He hey, goes somewhere, I can do porn and won't nobody know. That's the thing about whatever <laughs> gonna be know. invented from here on out, is they gonna find a you way for people to put their nuts and shit on it. Them <laughs> genitals is going on every piece of technology. Can you, I bet it was quiet as hell the first time they took a picture of a pussy with an iPhone and everybody at the office knew it. It was just quiet around there like. I know you seen it. You seen it. That motherfucker look real, don't it? Ah! We got the hands in job, boy. See them titties. Ah! That's all that shit was about. What? The iPhone. I'm scared. You can't A even talk. A freaky ass nigga invented that shit. You can't even talk without that shit having a little algorithm and some shit pop up on your Bro, phone. Exactly what shit, you just talked about. The shit know who you don't fuck with no more. When you delete somebody, it tell you who it might be. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Kathy, <laughs> how the fuck you know? I'm just letting you know now. I heard the bitch voice before. I'm just letting you know. She might be Kathy. It ain't new to me. It's new to you. I, it might Pick be. up. Hello? Kathy. I told you. 
Let's I phone scary as hell, bro. I was pulling up the GPS the other day. Really? Motherfucker told me the last time I went somewhere. I'm like, you sure? You ain't been here since 2016. How the fuck? And this a new phone. Yeah, they keep up with your shit. Google connected to everything. Google and Facebook. For real. I don't, but I don't like that shit. Like, I don't want to be talking about some shit and then pop up on my phone. It be do. like suggest. I told you, that's why I be picking up my phone and I do this shit sometimes. I be like, big black titties, big black titties, big black titties. You know, like one day I just want like an ad to pop up. Like, big black titties in your area. No. <laughs> so you be on Tinder? No, I don't. Oh. Uh, Hell no. You be doing the swipe game. I don't want nobody. For real. The fuck I'm gonna be on Tinder for? I can't do that shit. Hell no. That's why all them really sites was used to like Facebook for you to meet a motherfucker. Niggas, we just using it for what we want to fuck use it for. <laughs> but really, Facebook was for, oh, where you from? Hey, let's mess meet up, Facebook. Hey. <laughs> MySpace was too, but I can't do MySpace. That was too much going on. Right. Go on somebody pay, here comes some shit, here comes some shit, shit pop up. <laughs> And get off this shit. This shit too much over here. I'm eight. <laughs> for real. Social media used to, it started out for like motherfuckers who didn't know how to talk to people for real. Like in person? Yeah. You'd be scared. You'd be like, hi. Send somebody. You hope they reply. But then motherfuckers found out that like the world big as fuck. So right. somebody liked you somewhere. Right. So a motherfucker who never had no friends fucked around and got a hundred friends and was like, nigga, this shit all right. You ain't nobody, but you somebody. Right. Like the motherfuckers around here don't fuck with me. Put right. the niggas online. Right. From over there, fuck with yeah. me. Let you know that, nigga, you ain't got to be where you from to do some shit. Mm-hmm. Dig what I'm saying? You stupid. You stupid. Like, even though we talking about this shit, you stupid, nigga. Nigga, you the, you you the stupid, nigga. You. I mean, camera still on, man. That you camera, hear me? That camera on. What's going on? Them niggas taking turns boo booing. <laughs> They've been on the right ride down here. They've been everybody been holding. Yeah, damn, y'all niggas had the Taco Bell or something. Y'all good? <laughs> but you dumb as fuck, bro. They do look like a bunch of camp counselors, don't they? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, eight and on the group, twelve and on the group, right yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> he been there for some years. He yeah, the, yeah. he he over everybody. Uh huh. You, know, you got to know how to deal with the kids, just circle man. Circle up and talk about Jesus. <laughs> Who said that, the white boy? Yes. Uh, guys, let's just get in here and thank Jesus. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get in here. Let's just get in here, guys. <laughs> you think it's stupid, bro. Hell <laughs> uh, no. Don't matter if you're black or white. <laughs> somebody made a picture of what Michael Jackson would have looked like if he stayed black the whole time. I wonder. Everybody, I don't know what, what they say. His skin probably had a skin disease. Bit of Lago. But now that knowing that he had that shit, we wouldn't have been mad if Michael Jackson would have just rocked his Vitiligo sometime. Like if he just came out and that nigga, ah, fuck it, whatever. Yeah. I wouldn't be mad. I feel like that shit would have been Niggas like, do. you know, like you don't have a haircut <laughs> sometimes. You'd be like, man, I ain't got my shit on today. you like, <laughs> like I wouldn't, would you tell the truth? You wouldn't have been mad at Mike. But I'm like, saying. Like, that nigga tried to hide that shit from us. We black, nigga, we don't give a fuck. You already so, a legend, nigga. So what does the video like I do? It turn your skin different colors. It just turned a different color, that's it? Yeah, like a lot of people got that shit. So he really just, it, it was like, it got to him, so he just tried to look a certain way. He went all the way, instead of waiting for the shit to like be. <clears throat> but tell the truth though, like knowing what we know now about Did he about lose Benilago, it or did like, he just When he go. said the shit, we didn't know what it was. I thought it was just an excuse for him to do the shit that he was doing. But I'm saying though, even though you lose your pigmentation, like so now you are back came out and did a video as like black and white Michael Jackson, that shit would have been hard. Like you could have seen what a Vendeligo hit. Like the nigga opened the shirt off and nigga got like, Shit shaped like Africa or some shit, and he just did the shit. Black or white, I'm like, nigga, I see how you wrote that shit. But it makes sa- sense now. But I'm saying though, if he had to be, if he lost his pigmentation, he still look like himself. A little bit. Yeah. But he would have just been looking like but Winnie Harlow or some shit. Damn. 
That's what they say. But see, he didn't know how open and accepting black people are. Nigga, we accepted Fetty Wap. He didn't even have no eye. He didn't tell us what happened to it. Right. That nigga just showed up with no eye, and we loved him, and we figured out that there was some shit later on. But he didn't show up and be like, hey, y'all, something happened to my eye, but check this song out. It was like, nigga, check this song out. I'll tell you about the shit later on. Right. Matter of fact, we got three shit. Three got that track we about to drop. Nigga. That shit damn sure didn't stop shit. Hell yeah, Michael Jackson yeah, could have rocked, rocked the vitiligo and the birth. Nigga, it's yeah. Michael Jackson, nigga. Nigga don't give a fuck about no skin, nigga. You would have been out there and... Come on, man. Nobody looking at your skin like that, nigga, damn, but damn, nigga, skin. Man, exactly. shut the fuck up. Exactly. Go crazy, man. Nigga, the yin-yang twins. It took two motherfuckers to be one motherfucker. Man, one ain't what? have no hands and one ain't have no feet. You, yeah. you seen the one last, um... Exactly, and the other one ain't have no fingers, just fingernails. Too. That shit scared me. That's, yeah, it scared me. Ha <laughs> First time I seen that bitch, I was like, ha 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 <laughs> I fuck with them niggas too. I think I seen the one who got who got the lead though. The one who but talked, you knew the one who got to talk to rap with the rest When they made their first song, we, whistle while you twerk. Go ahead and start it. Make that pussy fart it. We fuck request some shit like that. That nigga said, go ahead and get this spanky. ATL shout out on disrespect. Hey, go pop your pussy like this. Cause you ain't twin in the B.I. <laughs> nigga, what the fuck is a B.I. <laughs> Nigga, is that in, in this bitch? Oh, I don't know what that word be, I am, y'all. That's a word, no, but it is today. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, I love the EA twin, bro. Hey, bro that that cold, that little, that little arrow. Woo! Yeah, I'm nigga pipe that bitch. Oh, but I don't give a fuck what nobody say, but to the window, to the walls. I ain't even know we could say that. To the sweat drop down my ball. Ooh, you gonna let these bitches know we sweat? What? <laughs> to the sweat drop down these balls. It don't matter. All oh, skeet, skeet. But see, that's what I've been trying to emphasize all the Fuck time. Fuck without taking a there, bath. There are women out there that <laughs> like sweaty balls. Which is crazy. Look how quiet the room got. Oh, they yeah, they yeah. like sweaty balls. They like to smell them. Soon as they know. Come out. A woman love a oh, nigga with balls. some shit to do. She would like to smell work nuts. Yep. Where you been all day? They do. They want to smell them. And, and we know that they exist and we shout them out over here. They ain't gonna really, they ain't never gonna come out publicly. But we, we see know you, baby. There are plenty of women out there that like all day balls. <laughs> yeah, they call ballers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they got a whole call website what? called Ball, Ball Alert. <laughs> Ball Alert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they like balls. Big, sweaty, juicy, all day balls. That's, that's how you know. Niggas be talking all that shit like you real freaky until you meet a real freaky ass woman. When a woman. That boy, that been running. Exactly, because he. He done know. fucked this girl out the long jaw. Girl. This nigga here. Nasty ass nigga yeah, here, yeah. man. He had a ball <laughs> before. <laughs> she liked them work nuts. Women like the smell of nigga that's been doing something all day. They're overtime. Yeah. Nigga be tired too. I'm tired. So get here. <laughs> I'm sleepy, I'm please. Trying to tell you. <laughs> Wanna go to sleep? Nope. Nope. <laughs> That's hilarious, bro. You better watch yourself. I'm telling you. They out here. There's some different kind of women out here, bro. This 2020 has really, and this whole being away from everybody, mm -hmm. shit is just changing like a motherfucker. That's hilarious. I can't believe the nasty shit we was out here doing before this pandemic hit. Right. Bro, we, we was out here taking trips. Nigga, we was eating at the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> we were eating at the buffet where we well, knew motherfuckers one? was coming straight out the kitchen, mopping and bringing which us one? food. All of them. You talking about before this? Yes. What wrong with that? Nigga. <laughs> Think about now. Think about now. We could have been dead a long time ago. Oh, you talking about old witch pandemic? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just talking about like in life in general, man, like you know, exactly. Going karate, boss. Man, that shit been out here. Bullshit, man. The, the, the popcorn shrimp with the biscuit, man. <laughs> Listen, don't talk to me when I got my popcorn shrimp and my biscuit, and I got another plate just for my tartar sauce. Stop playing with me. Deal, ah, deal, ah, deal. Hit the biscuit. Bro, we was out here thugging for real. You bullshit. Deal, ah, deal, Life was raw I, as hell before this I. pandemic shit. 
Nigga. You tell me I can get another blade? Come on, man. What? Man, who? Man, let me tell you something. A buffet? You can't go wrong in no buffet game. I don't give a fuck. Do you understand that maybe now when we get old, people gonna think we lying when we tell them about the shit we used to do? We used to do shows. It was thousands of people in there. <laughs> I ain't lying. That's DC, Chico, and Joe, and all them. We would go places, man. It'd be eight, nine thousand people over there. Swear to God, all them. <laughs> I ain't lying. All them one building. They used to come watch us. We was up. Uh, <laughs> we, we, uh. There you we, go. Uh, and that old time kick in, Chico. I told you. Uh, uh, I told we, you. It's all hit time. Uh, I told we, you. We, uh, we had a singing group. <laughs> no, we didn't. Uh. <laughs> we did sing, but it wasn't a. Well, we was, we, you know, we was in the, the, the performance arts. You know we yeah, sold a lot. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We, we sold, sold a lot. We sold a lot of records. We sold a lot of, lot of tickets and, sh- and, and things like that. Mm-hmm. That's how you know old nigga just ain't gonna tell you everything. <laughs> you know, we, we, we did a lot of things of that nature. <laughs> yeah, we did all, all kind of, a, a variety of things. <laughs> we did several things at once. This nigga stupid, bro. Telling you, bro, they gonna think we bullshitting. They ain't gonna know we. They know. They, they no, got no, the, they let me tell you something, nephew. Listen to this. They, now check this out. Thousands of people come to the show. Hundreds of them take pictures of. Them. Right there with me. Right there between us. They stand right there, and smiling and everything. It was crazy. That shit might not never happen again. When? Shit. It gonna happen again. The mean greet. Oh, we can't do the mean greet no more. Why? Vibe gonna be gone. Mm-mm. Shit over the shit. Go on out, man. Ain't, ain't, ain't. You think it is? Well, man, I ain't scared. <laughs> oh, see, that's what that's the shit that's scary. You gotta be cautious with shit. Everybody Fuck be that talking shit. shit till they get sick. They be talking big shit. Man, that shit ain't real, I'm telling you. And then the nigga hit you like, bruh. I don't know what the fuck wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> what, what you mean, man? I got up this morning and uh, shit, it was soupy. Shit came out. <laughs> it, it, it was soupy. I had to wipe my ass with a towel. I could, tissue wouldn't get it. The tissue was too wet. I don't know what's wrong with me. Every time you touch it, let go. <laughs> but that's the soft spot. But I can't touch that. But now nah, for real though, we got man. I don't know. I ain't talking on this shit, man. Hey man, niggas will go get that shit out here, man. That shit in the air. Just keep your hands sanitized. The shit. Hey, tell you, sometimes I just look out the door and be like, nope. That shit out there, I can smell it. But that shit crazy, but think about it like this though, right? Out of all this shit going on, first of all, there still ain't no vaccine. Niggas are, are signing dates on fights with, think about it, you know who running shit. You, y'all know what's going on. I ain't gonna speak on too much, but y'all know what's going on. What if you fucking around get that on. vaccine and you can't go to sleep no ain't more? Ain't no vaccine, gang. They gonna make everybody get that shit. Ain't nobody gonna go to bed. Everybody just gonna be tired forever. Man, yeah, man, you still up? I'm still up. You believe this shit? We ain't been to bed in four years. Man. My fucking eyeballs is dry. <laughs> Fell asleep on OnlyFans last night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you that vaccine, that shit ain't gonna be right. Man, ain't no damn vaccine. Don't fuck around and come ain't no out damn vaccine. with the vaccine. Ain't nobody gonna get pregnant for two years. They trying to control the population. Some. I don't know why the fuck they want. They say you don't take. They say you don't take the vaccine. Control because they want everybody to be alive and working. Why the fuck would they want less people? Cause too many niggas get money. There's so many places that don't nobody live. Too many people get money. Bro, America literally kind of empty when you think about it. Who? America. It just, man, it's just a lot of motherfuckers living in the South where we from, so we think it's a lot of motherfuckers. But once you start traveling to some of these states, these right. bitches literally be damn near empty. Right. Don't nobody really live in Montana like that. Right. <laughs> Niggas go out there, man. Motherfuckers really live out there. Have you ever seen people in South Dakota? Yeah, yeah there's some motherfuckers out there, but they don't look like nobody you done seen before. <laughs> <laughs> they talking about all the Indians extinct. It's a goddamn lie. It's 998 tribes of Indians over that way. Talk your shit, gang. Shit, that ain't, ain't my shit to talk. Come on, here you come. Here you come. Wait to get out of the jail. Eighty percent of Americans live in cities. Who? We need the rest of this. Eighty percent of Americans. Yeah, the rest of these the woods, all these places that ain't got no big cities and shit. Them motherfuckers empty, man. Right. 
80% yeah, of America live in the city. Man, get what? Go move, man. Go somewhere mm. else. I ain't going no goddamn I'm going. Way. Fuck the bullshit. I live in Georgia because I can go home fast. For real? Yeah. Mm-mm. Well, fast as I want to do. I, I like America because you can make money over here. Other than that, I don't want to give a fuck about living over here. I can't think right. of nowhere else I want to stay, though. Shit, you got to go travel. You'll be like, you know I, what? I, I I'll stay here. I and mean, every time I go somewhere, I'll travel. be like, man, this shit ain't fucking with America, nigga. America the coldest shit to me. It, but you know, but see, this is what you can. When they say free opportunity, you really like free opportunity. Cause other places, you got the government find the people, then you got the people find the people, then the government ain't giving the people no money, and it's like sound like us. But this shit a little bit more orchestrated still. But social media, you can see clearly a lot of shit. Like nigga, even though the pandemic stopped our work, we finna go back to work. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Other places, it's like nigga, ain't no food, ain't no water. Ain't no net. That's Niggas out I, there had sandals for like three, America. four years. That's Niggas what I'm saying. We got nailing plastic shit. bags to the bottom of their shoes. Exactly. To have a, well, that pole, boy. This it America, did. man, you can get some anything you want. You can you go got get it. 24 hour access to it. But get what? It's beautiful places other than. You know what I'm saying? It's people who live other where, not. They don't live in America. I don't give a shit and about it. And don't really that. too much give a fuck about go, coming over here either. I ain't going over there either. Shit, you got to go over there and go broaden your horizon. Man. My that shit is broad. <laughs> Trust me. You ever thought about being having a dual citizenship? Yeah, yeah. Mm-mm. You got to talk that talk, gang. See, you can tell a nigga, be like, you know what? You can stay here. Ha, <laughs> bad. You Hop on a plane, go somewhere else, and be straight. Have a dual citizenship. I'm a citizen over here too. So if some shit pop off over here, like we can't go nowhere How right the fuck now. You gonna get over there? What you mean? You would have seen it coming. I would have been left y'all nigga ass. Fuck y'all nigga. I would have been doing this shit on Skype. What up, 85 South Show? <laughs> it's your boy. Where I'm at? Don't give a fuck. Hey. <laughs> you don't know where I'm at. I'm over here. We chilling. I ain't no cases of no corona that shit. Whatever y'all over there tripping on. We over here, over here. That's what you on. And there ain't black people over here too. Shit, that's why I ain't leaving. Brown your right. Why? Cause we been over here. I well, know my folks been, been over here. We ain't have to come from nowhere. Oh yeah. You, you, you so what you saying? Like your people like rooted from right here? Yeah. Oh, I don't know my people from here. Well, I gotta go say what's up. If you black and over there? Hey man, what's happening? But that's what. Who people, are you? Alien? I don't There's know you. Shit going Speak. On in, all Brother, places in the world like Zimbabwe, they having a human rights crisis going on right now. See, you got to read Government up on me. Just showing just up and snatching no motherfuckers Zimbabwe. up. So shout out to Zimbabwe. Yeah, yeah. Pray for y'all, but I'm saying niggas just ain't just. You got to travel to certain places where, you know, you got to do your history on shit. Yeah, so don't travel and be like, I'm just finna see what's going on. As soon as you land, it's all type of chaos, nigga. Yeah. Even though it's chaos over here, yeah. but still, shit. You ever seen Chaos in Paradise? Mm. I seen it everywhere. Well, I'm saying, everywhere you go, to, I always find out the blackest shit about the whole place. But you know what? You know, you know, you know, you know, black spot, folks been doing this shit. But you know, it's about this real homie, and like they take care of their island, and like you know, I ain't really like no crime and shit like that. Well, Turks and Caicos. I ain't fucking with them islands like that. Oh, shit. I'm a country nigga. I got man. you on swim, man. You got to get. Get your old ass in the water. And do what? That nigga, he don't want to do nothing. He like, nah, I'm me, I'm me. I'm, I'm a land nigga. I'm, I'm, I'm in the water, I'm in the water. You know I'm, I'm a land nigga. He's like, I'm in here. Y'all nigga going over there, I'm in the water. Come I'm in. in. I'm in. I'm in the I'm water. I'm going to Gatlinburg. God damn. <laughs> no, man, see, I, I, I love the Caribbean, man. When I get on the island, I feel like I'm at home. Like. Take these motherfucking shoes off. So you probably got bad ass feet, nigga. We take all the do. shoes your off. Shit ain't take the, you gotta go get them done. Your shit, but your nigga. My I'm shit a, fucked up. That's why you go get them done. That's what I'm saying. I can go get them shits done and they'll be okay, but that's right. as good as it's gonna be. Yeah, that's it. Nigga, my toenail don't even grow all the way. Yeah, nigga. Nigga. My shit halfway. You feel me? Like, it, oh, hell no. Nah. But you still can even have a halfway look good ass toe. Right. You did. So I go get them done, go overseas, you walk on the land barefoot so you can feel the energy from the earth. And cause you feel me, you'll think it's crazy. It. But guess what? But that shit really After be three, lit. four days, I'm ready to go back to America. Which is cool. Yeah. But to go work. I can't go nowhere else. Because people in other places want to come to America to work. It's a better living, but nigga, they know they can run up a fucking bag over here. Nigga, they can come over here and run up a stupid ass bag. Yeah. Nigga, that's why they don't mean, man, get out. It's get the out. American way. Run up a bag. Might go live somewhere well. else and go crazy. That's what they doing. Take that shit to a black bank. 
And you then look that? how Marvin Gaye gonna be looking at your checking account. <laughs> God, it's stupid. Don't be a waste of them folks' time. No, you ain't got no goddamn money. <laughs> <laughs> Put it back in your pocket. <laughs> Go back out the door. Put that shit down. Put it back in your pocket. Uh 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 uh. Do not fill out a deposit slip. Put it back in your pocket. Who else do that? My name went to the bank the other day to get some money. The lady told me she could give me half of the money I asked for and then give me a cashier check. I was like, ma'am, then I'm gonna have to come back to the bank to cash that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well just give me all of They tried to tell me that they want at the bank talking about some. You can't get this much out at the drive through They're not letting you in. I said, well, shit, somebody better come open the door. Yeah, for real, because I'm going to come back through this I'm going to come get my money. I ain't going to rob the bank, but I'll rob it for my money. <laughs> Look, open up that account, bitch. Type in the name. Type in my name, ho. Give me everything that's in my account, bitch. OK, about nobody else. My name, bitch. Don't you put, don't add nobody else money with me, unless you want to. <laughs> Give me my money, ho. I didn't know they could see your balance. What? Them folk be looking at your shit and be like, so you want to make it? Man, stop playing, man. Just put, put the money. Stop I looking at my shit, shit, man. And then the lady tried to introduce me to the other lady at the bank. He's like, he's a good man. He, she don't have no husband. I was like, what the? Bitch, get out of my account. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate that shit, bro. That's why you got to have a personal banker, bro. I, I can't stand that shit. That, that's why I don't even really, I, I just like doing the wire shit. I wire that shit. As soon as that shit hit, wire. You don't, ever, you don't, don't, don't look at me. Yo, I don't, you, you don't, don't even know me. What? Wire. Hit wire. You don't be nervous going to the bank? I be wondering how much money you have to get before the feds jump off the roof with the AR-15s and shit. 8900 For real? They finna come They watch me. it. As soon as you deposit, really, it's really, they say 10000 but it's kind of like 85 If you deposit 8500 No, you good on the That's, you <laughs> nigga, if you deposit too. As soon as you, yes it is, yes. Well, yes. We got the bank man right here. What? You deposit at a, <laughs> you, de, you de, you de, you withdraw that cash, they have to report that to the We ain't talking about withdrawing, but they, they gonna, they gonna do that too. But depositing, they're gonna be like, hey brother. Yes sir. Yes sir. As soon as you do 85 or more, they saw it. You know how like, as soon as you put it in there, I saw it. Even, that's why you gotta do like increments. Say for you had a million dollars, you go in there and be like, 6,500. 6,500, you just keep going there. You done did that shit 365 times. 6,500, you can't have an overbalance of no. They gonna watch you. 6,500, going there every time. But nah, but you know, just pay your taxes, man. I pay all my taxes. I get yeah, they money, man. That's a bigger game. They be like, give me my money, bitch. I be like, how much you want? You're not even finna argue with them folks. Just get it. Stop pushing me. <laughs> Dude, I will not argue with them folks. Oh, but nigga, I ain't paying them niggas. Right. Don't pay them niggas. They gonna have some other niggas come see you. Some gangsters. Well, for real? Guess why did he, he didn't? Did he make some more money before he did it? This, right. this how serious taxes are, though. You can't even get into heaven until you pay your shit. You think God gonna let you in, you <laughs> old motherfucker? <laughs> Hell no. Yeah, you ain't pay your student loan. Right, like. Uh, <laughs> Tried to teach you. Right, right. You just gonna run off on the teacher. That's what I'm saying. God <laughs> make you go, like, if you die under certain circumstances, you have to go to hell until you get your affairs straight. Ah, uh, but at least you get a chance, yeah, though. Yeah, you know uh, motherfuckers in hell. Like, yeah, God said, I do one more year now. Here, you gonna let me on this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because that child support and, <laughs> and them license and shit was fucked up, so he, he told me to do two years in hell. I mean, it ain't. Hot as motherfuckers think it is. You been in Atlanta? <laughs> in the summer. Yeah, just like, you know when you get in your car, it's about that hot. It's about that hot. <laughs> yeah, still very yeah, far. man. I mean, the devil, he cool. He cool, motherfucker. He, you know, as long as you stay out of his way, he kind of like Shug Knight. He, 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 have, <laughs> he have his moves. You, you catch him in the right mood, he ball with you. You catch him <laughs> under, you know, he on some devilish shit, you know. Fuck that nigga, he can't ball with me. Yeah, exactly. But hell, you oh. in hell. You mean tell me you'd go to hell and wouldn't fuck with still the devil? Still beef. Inhale. Beef, bitch. Move. <laughs> you gonna whoop your ass every day. So, we gonna be hitting. <laughs> hit. <Hitting. laughs> fuck out my face. I still don't fuck with you, nigga. What's that? Fuck me. I heard what you said when I was 14, bitch. Bitch, nigga. Come on, nigga. Come on. I think we need you. Come on. Mm-hmm. You think you gonna have that much time to talk shit? Nah, cause I ain't gonna talk to him. I'm being heavy. <laughs> they say you go to heaven, everybody naked. 
No, you're right? not. No. You know Can I say you put a wall free? No. You had to close your head under your funeral. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Hold on, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? No, you had a clothes from your funeral. Oh, you had, oh you yeah. Had your funeral clothes. <laughs> you didn't know that. Ah. You didn't know that. That's why you gotta be buried. Those niggas out there with meat goats on in the funeral. <laughs> I just think it's fucked up as people in heaven with no shoes on. <laughs> no, they don't put shoes on all them bodies. <laughs> Y'all are not smart. Niggas out there bad feet. Yeah, yeah. Whole suit on, no shoe. Ah! White socks. Ah! <laughs> Big ass yeah. socks, too. That is hilarious. Because your feet shrink. You talking about a whole suit with white socks? They just slide around heaven? They be folding them in hair, trying to make them look like footies. That is hilarious, bro. Bro, this nigga is hilarious, bro. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Bro, man. he told these gonna be up there with what they had in a casket. Hell yeah. That's stupid. Y'all niggas still boo booing? Yeah. They see that. They, they take it. It was 11 people over there. Now they just take a turn boo booing before they leave. Like, oh, shit. What you got coming up, man? Man, we finna get back on the show. How your, how your show is selling? Man, these motherfuckers going stupid, man. I appreciate y'all, too. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I, I need, excuse me, to get back on the road because that shit like therapy for me. You right. feel what I'm saying? Like, I That's just need to be around this That's why we've been in this so long. I needed these laughs, bro. I needed it, but I ain't laughed that hard. I don't know how long, boy. boy. Come on, man. I'm, I, I'm missing the comedy like a motherfucker. I need, I need to be around that I was watching energy. our show like, bro, I can't believe this shit. I can't. I, I love it. I just love it. I really want to go. It like going to kick it with your family you ain't seen in a long time. And... Y'all got the car. You got the car. Chico got a car. I ain't got to worry about nothing. You know, I got gas in the week. You know what I'm saying? We better go see Auntie then. Where we going? Mississippi? Ooh. Where we going? Baltimore? Ooh. We better go to Texas. Just being with y'all, the fans, the true people that allow us to grow. You feel what I'm saying? Bro, you downfall. don't understand. I yeah. know you be getting a lot of messages. And people, you watching this show everywhere, man. Somebody had a fucking surgery and was watching this shit. For real. Hell Damn. Yeah. All this shit coming back. Um, the NBA is back. The NFL, they about to cancel that shit. The president's still dumb as hell. Bunch of motherfuckers out here sick. Trip, you heard what he said about John Lewis? Who? Oh, yeah. That Trip. motherfucker is crazy. Yeah, I don't speak on him, but I need I trip. Oh, I got to say, uh, we got to send some love to my man Rodney Perry, man. He got yes, COVID, sir. man. Praying for God you, damn it. You, you the OG, man. You know, we praying for you, big dog. Man, make sure y'all stay safe. Keep your mask on. Stay at the crib. I know we doing the show with no mask on, but, man, we, we got the motherfuckers on deck. So it's just for the camera so you can hear us and shit. We got mask on deck. Oh, my boy Sax B got engaged, too. You know my boy. Yeah. He got, he got engaged. Hell yeah. Stupid, man. About to get married, man. <laughs> stupid, man. What you give he us? He's not even gonna be able to do the little. That nigga be playing sad. That nigga be on that. He ain't gonna be happy no more. Why you think he wanna get married? Nah, sad B. He, he keep looking at that girl. He like, I gotta play. <laughs> he found the one. Damn, man. He found the one. Watch, watch when we go on the road. Watch. But everybody got that one, man. Right. It's somebody for everybody. Right. Right, you don't believe that shit? I, I, I believe he gonna do his thing. I just know when we get in that vibe, I know say be he. Beep, 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 beep. I don't wanna get up there. He. <laughs> Who the fuck was that? But say be ain't really gonna have, he ain't gonna have dread no more. He gonna cut him off. Like, shit all gonna, that work for nothing. They gonna fall out. All that work for nothing. You, so you don't negative. know for what, 17 years. This is what happens out. when I tell you somebody get engaged. You see all the bad things. What about black love, DC? God damn. I mean, I'm happy for them. Damn. <laughs> these always say that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm nigga happy for these niggas, man. I'm, 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 I'm just saying. I'm just we, saying. We got to be real now. Because I know who we were before. You really don't see a lot of happily married black men. You see some that's married, but they'll be happy. Right. They don't really be like, hey, how's it going, man? You know, I'm just happy, man. Just keep a smile on your face. Hey, hey. <laughs> no. I'm like, how, what's going on? Listen to me, young just blood. Living. Young blood, listen to me. Do what you do. Keep doing your thing. Hey, 
Don't let nobody stop you from doing your thing. You understand that? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. How long you been married, OG? Me? Uh huh. Thirty-two years. Good question. Ask me how long I've been tired of it. How long you been tired? Thirty-three years. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Before you even got with the motherfucker. Right. <laughs> I'm, you know what got me scared of marriage? Because I've been on social media for a, a lot. Like, I've been on there for a period of time. Right. And women really just don't even like us. They use us. See how quiet the room got? You say some real shit, everybody shut the mm -hmm. fuck up. Because all women want somebody to love them, but be honest, man. You want a motherfucker that going to support them. Women you. want a nigga that ain't They want even, a motherfucker that going to support them. The nigga that they want ain't even been born yet. This motherfucker. Yeah, damn. yeah, he's he's amazing. Right. The nigga that they think they deserve, he ain't right. fucking with them. That's crazy. It's a woman, it's a woman right now. They're they gonna have paying this, the bills or They gotta the settle bills for right us the them. same way we settling for them. We gotta find somebody to settle with. Somebody that you can get and let all your hopes and dreams die with. God damn. What? That's too raw. That's too raw. That boy been hurt. Too raw. That boy been hurt. Fuck y'all. That boy been hurt. You been hurt? Nigga, I'm, I'm a nigga. Fuck you, bitch. My whole life. Die with your a, dreams, ho. Been a string of disappointments. Fuck you mean. God damn. I like a bitch. I just know they ain't shit. You feel me? It's just fun to see the game that they play. You be like, look at this bitch. She trying to get $500. I like this bitch. But she ain't gonna get $500. You feel me? I just really? Let's see what you do off this home. Mm-mm. That's that. I learned that from a man. That's an incentive. Stop. You better stop that. You're creating your own monster when you do that, DC. Nuh-uh. -uh. Yeah, because you're only giving a, what, a sum of what she needs. I know, so it's kind of like you, you, you kind of give her the bait. She needs Where you bait. think she going to get the rest of it from? I give two fuck. That was the purpose for her to go find the rest. I want her to be like, here, because the rest ain't over here, bitch. You need to go find the other nigga. Yeah, you say that, but then when some shit happened, your nigga going to kick in. It's a nigga buried deep down inside of every man in this room. Right. And when the first time your lady show up with some shit that you don't know about, he gonna come out. He's gonna ask you for the $500 for the money or whatever. Oh, yes, and you sir. know you ain't give her, but whatever you gave her. And that shit ain't gonna last for so long. And then she show up with some fast food one day <laughs> after your money done ran. And I'm like, what the fuck? Get this fucking fast food from. Your money done ran out, or so you thought. And hey. now you're laid out here hungry, and you done lost it to a nigga who got some sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> you see where I'm going with this? <laughs> I, all I'm saying is... You created that need because you only gave her half of what she wanted. All I'm saying now is... Now all the nigga got to do is keep her full, because you're going to do everything. She going to fall short on the food. Now she got a whole food nigga. See how these characters are created? I don't give a fuck who the nigga is. Don't listen then. I got be a a for you. It's going to be a nigga who's going to listen right into the pussy. For real? R really? Girl, you are playing. He did what? He did it again? He don't respect you. He doesn't value your time. Now this nigga done listened up on some pussy. You, you did nine out of ten things right. This nigga came through with one out of ten, filled the empty space, got the same amount of pussy you did nine stupid ass things to get. All he had to do was listen, show her with some food, talk to her, take her to Gatlinburg. <laughs> I mean, I, I hit mine, so um, that nigga. You hit him? Yes, sir. What you mean? With the dick? Yes, sir. That don't mean shit. I mean shit. If you listen, that don't mean shit either. That, you can get demoted, you, you, too. The same way you get promoted, see, I ain't, you can get I don't demoted. have time to listen. You don't want to just be the dick nigga. She don't respect him at all. She don't ask you no questions. She ain't got no conversation. Dick, I'm drunk. I'm outside. Open the door. See you next time. That's all you get when you the dick man. Open the door. She get the dick. Didn't let her leave. I don't mind. <laughs> the fuck we got to talk about? Bruh, ask Thank that, you for waking me the fuck up. Ask you that mean? man over there. At some point in your life, you need more than some pussy. You start wanting shit like sides, macaroni and cheese, <laughs> green bean, cornbread. Right. You get tired of eating chicken by itself. Right. <laughs> you need a woman for your nutrients, bro. A woman who's going to tell you, drink some water sometime. Put them blunts down. Right. Or you're just going to die at 48. Yeah, you need a woman to fucking right. do some of that shit. Until I want some size, I'm good with chicken. I'm telling you. I'm, getting, all shit. I'm that... getting the shit out of chicken. I'm telling you. 
I don't give a fuck. My keep, box is full of chicken. Keep doing all your fucking while you're young. That's you're what just, I'm trying to tell you. I'm eating chicken, nigga. Like, but you going to get to a point in your life where you need more than some pussy. Nigga, you keep trying to pass me mad potatoes. You want some mad potatoes, young? You going to need somebody to watch how to get away with murder with. He keep looking at me. How he's so young with energy. I want chicken. OK. Keep eating that goddamn chicken. It's good now. <laughs> ah, it's good now. It's you delicious. Like eat mashed potatoes with and no then you tea. find out oh. just eating chicken by itself is going to fuck your whole digestive system up because you ain't had shit to go with it. Just chicken. I'm saying for you those. You hear how the young niggas think? Tell them. Tell them you're going to want more than some pussy sometime. sometime. You're going to be rich as hell <laughs> by yourself. All these nice, luxurious things. Nigga, no talking to another pussy. nigga who eat mashed potatoes. He got potatoes. a whole house. He talking to with, another old nigga. With man, everything you that nigga got on, that nigga got on a blazer. Man, get your ass on, man. <laughs> yeah, man, you just gonna want to sit down sometime, young blood. I'm telling you, young blood. My back hurt right now. Ooh, I, what, what time is it? Okay, that's what pussy do. How you think you get your back fucked up? We ain't no weightlifters. That come from all that wild fucking. That's all it could be, because you remember exactly what you was fucking at by the pain. Like, oh, shit. That's Gatlinburg. You gotta get in that, gotta get in that gym, OG. Yeah, OK. Got to do some push up. Bruh, you could drink water and skinless chicken and go to gym every week. Pussy going to still defeat you. Yeah. You going to just be in great shape to go to sleep after you bust that nut. That's all. <laughs> You don't understand. Science is real. I know motherfuckers who can run the, the 10K marathon. Be right. Sweaty as a motherfucker. No, never get tired. Give them 10 minutes worth of pussy. That nigga going to bed for eight hours. <laughs> pussy do that to motherfuckers. That's what pussy do. Grown ass men. Big buff motherfuckers. Security guards and shit. Motherfuckers who don't do nothing but work out and eat right and believe in God and read the Bible and shit. Give them some pussy, it's over with. Pussy defeats everything. Pussy just like water. It ain't shit on earth that you can put up against a pussy and pussy won't win. Pussy is like the honey badger. It can beat up most of this shit. That's See how quiet that's shit got. I'm trying Nigga, to people fight. come out of pussy. You don't understand, OG. That's the fight I want. Like, I be you looking for that fight. You're not going to win, young nigga. I'm telling you, I tried. I mean, I done fighting. OG, I be like, hit me again. <laughs> <laughs> hit me again, God damn it. I ain't falling. OK. This how good pussy oh, is, DC. Hit me again. You ain't even going to swing at some point. You just be like, well, what you want? <laughs> what I've been fighting 10 years straight. My arms is tired. My legs is weary. I give up, pussy. What? I can't beat you. I'm just going to join you. What do you want, vagina? I've given you everything. My life's worked since I was 15 years old. I give up. I want a wife and a family. And a house and some vanity mirrors with a sink for him and her. Stupid. I got, nice ass you, I got a nice ass yard. I got a nice ass yard. Ain't no flowers in it, though. It's you just can't grass. let it defeat you, OG. Man, pussy done defeated everybody. You got to stay in the game. You don't watch TV? I watch it. They had this show called Scandal. Uh -huh. Black lady fucking the president. This how good black pussy is. What? This nigga got shot in the head and was in a coma. <laughs> Motherfucker ain't come out the coma till he started thinking about that black pussy. The man got a whole wife, three, four kids. <laughs> He in a coma. Only thing brought him back to life was the time he spent with Elizabeth Pope. What's her name? Olivia, Olivia Pope. <laughs> he talking about Elizabeth. I'm like, that's how I you... know Elizabeth ain't brought that yeah, nigga back to life. Yeah, she did. That's how Elizabeth. Good. He couldn't I'm have it all to together. You, <laughs> what? Olivia that Pope is brought that nigga out of coma. That nigga dumb. Mm -hmm. Got head now, OG. Got a head, but that pussy. It ain't gonna work. They know you won't. I ain't going out without a fight. Ugh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then the vagina gonna make the noise like the whack a mole. Now I'm angry. <laughs> Pussy gonna talk to you like Thanos. You gave me a good try. <laughs> no, no, let him do what he does. <laughs> Pussy whoop your ass like Thanos whooped the Hulk. That nigga stupid as fuck, man. man. 
Okay. <laughs> now it made me angry. Now <laughs> I'm angry. Woo <laughs> Oh, this nigga is crazy as fuck. Uh, that is funny. Okay. Wow. One day you ain't gonna be able to fuck. You're gonna be 77 years old. Damn. And you're just gonna need somebody to sit on the porch with. That's that's what old people equivalent to fucking is, just hanging out. Look at the face she made. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I ain't 77 no long. I'm 28. You ain't gonna make it if you keep fighting. You want fighting me to pussies. be on a rocking chair? I'm trying to tell you how to get to 77. Stop fighting these pussies. You're gonna hurt yourself. That's all. <laughs> I'm trying to go out here and fight. Okay. Pick a little fight. Uh, what'd you say? Oh, okay. Yeah, see? <laughs> then you're gonna have to get a new hip from all that fucking you did. It's fun, man. All right. <laughs> That shit is fun, man. Even like if she imagined, I feel like this even if she imagined that she liked you, I don't care. Fake it. Love me. All right. This how this how you start drinking brown liquor. This nah, I'm straight though. You know my girl love me. I love her. I'm good. Yeah. That shit. I'm just talking for the, when I'm, my young day. I know. I've been in a rocket chair. I'm chilling. That's a wheelchair. No, I'm rocking though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm rolling. Like that. <laughs> Telling you, man. <laughs> nah, I just be talking shit. It's out here. I'm on motherfuckers, been, I mean, y'all don't even know if you've seen the shit on social media. Motherfuckers try to lie on me and say we've been together and everything. Really? Yeah. People be just doing a little lame ass nigga, shit. Though. That's nothing. why you gotta watch who you talk to, man. Motherfuckers are lame out here. I am not the motherfucker to fake a relationship with, though. Huh? I ain't even. The, I'm not even a good candidate for that. Cause anybody who really know me know, like, man, get the fuck out of here. Right. Shout that shit ain't. don't even sound good. Well, yeah, pinch you, pinch your girl. Shut up. Shut up. Man, I'm, this was a lady I met at the airport one time though. I did give her my number, but I ain't never hit no coochie. <laughs> oh. But we y'all ain't you, never talking that like. Yeah, you know I'm saying you know you give a motherfucker your number, you find out they the wrong motherfucker. Oh yeah, you got to end that ASAP. And you end that shit ASAP, and then one night they send you a picture of the pussy. <laughs> you look at it. You gotta say something if you look at it. Them the rules. Right. Gotta say, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> gotta say something. Oh shit. Yeah, hey. but I ain't know that it was gonna turn into all of that. But I am guilty of looking at some pussy. That's all I did. See what I'm saying? You talking about me with your own ass. So if you open you your phone. You still out here and you replying send a pussy to on pussy pit and telling me you need to slow the fuck down. Yeah, because oh, that pussy fat. That pussy is fat. <laughs> And you need to stop your shit. I God did damn, shit. young girl, that pussy fat. So you don't have to do it. <laughs> How you think I know? That nigga crazy, don't man. Don't follow in my footsteps. Y'all always try to make you not get no coochie. You yes. need to stop your shit. What I'm saying is delete them pussies. Don't fucking friends. look. Don't look. Delete it. <laughs> God damn it. Delete it. Don't look at it. Don't look at Fuck it. That. It's a setup. You a man, man. It's a setup. What you supposed to do? You supposed to delete it, apparently. Why do you think I'm sharing this with you? But that's what I'm saying. Bitches are crazy. You're going to gonna yes. find that out every yes. new moon. No. You really, you know no, what I mean? No, this is a mental patient. This yeah. ain't just like regular crazy. Some people act like they ain't crazy. Yeah, you this like, ain't medicine crazy. Yes, nigga. Yeah. You preach it to the choir. That's why I'm like, nigga, that shit be funny. I, I block that hoe. Block a crazy bitch. I'm like, I can't believe this bitch. Block. Yeah. This hoe crazy. Hold on, let me unblock this hoe. Let me see what she said one more time. <laughs> <laughs> it was really crazy, right? It been crazy for real, man. It made up a whole scenario. But Ain't never touched that lady. What? That's why I keep calling to that lady. That's why I'm trying to, nigga, you preach it to the choir. Yeah, man, that's why I only fuck with goddesses and shit like that. Like Come women on, who went to college. Shit. Don't give me no pussy that didn't go to college. Ooh. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. Don't do it like I'm that. Don't do it. Come on, Bruh, man. I'm not taking Don't it. Don't be bougie. No, fuck yeah. that. Fuck and the ain't go to college. Nope. You at least got a big, at least a year. I ain't say you had to finish, you had to go though. But every pussy ain't go to college. I don't give, I mean, I'm not accepting it then. Nope. Yeah, ooh. Standards. Standards ooh. then went all the way up. Yeah, ooh. Yeah. yeah. Well, we would've been lying, them hoes would've yeah. been lit. Yeah. Fuck you, long All right, I'm not fucking with you if your ex in jail for a long time. I'm not doing that. Oh, no, no, if he in jail for a nah. long time, bitch, we rocking. Right. We, the, how many guys got eight years? Eight uh -uh, years uh -uh. Right. But if it's long enough. We long, only 30 years, bitch, nah. baby, got good time. Bitch, let's go. I'm not doing it. He got five years. I'm not standing on nigga that come home in five years. Not doing it. Fucking your bitch, man. Standards done changed. What? Mm hmm. So you ain't fucking no bitch who ain't go to college. Nope. And who nigga in jail for a long time. Nope. 
So you ride a nigga home in three months? No, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. Well, if your ex is in a bad spot, I can't fuck with you. I did that because he'll care about you. I mean, you ain't taking, you ain't leaving no, you ain't leaving shit better than you found it. Nope. It, it ain't no progression fucking with you. If I'm gonna go down after fuck with you, I can't do it. Mm. Right? So a bitch, each nigga gotta be like a lawyer or some shit. I'm just saying, nigga gotta be on the path to success. Right. I yeah. think what you're saying. Exactly. Because that bitch, that type of bitch be like, oh, she just really ain't, she don't give a fuck. Right. Bro, I always anybody. wonder, like, when the women get out of jail, like, when the fine-ass women get out of jail, where they be? I don't know, could they be fine as fuck? I don't know, I'm talking about gangster, grown women. You be like, damn, she beautiful. Yeah. But well, that's where I'm at. My girl beautiful, too, so I don't give a fuck. She's beautiful as hell. I ain't bullshit. You got great taste. Well, I appreciate it, You got a beautiful bro. family. Thank Stay you, over man. there. Ain't shit in these streets, especially the coronavirus. Oh, yeah, more definitely. Hell, yeah. Let me get out these streets. I don't be playing no game. Yeah, yeah. I still got my, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I still got my dirt back, you know what I'm saying? I be yeah, riding in the streets sometimes. I saw that. I seen you got a Harley, too. Nah, I ain't got no Harley. What was that, that motorcycle you got? Oh, uh, 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 what it is? Uh, an M50 Suzuki. I oh, mean, we've been in here rambling for a long time, but we got a lot of catching up and shit. We're about to wrap it up. But uh, you did sell the van. A lot of motherfuckers yes, been waiting on that. You update. thought I was bullshitting. <laughs> Nigga Slick made it hard for me, but he ain't gonna get no more eight hundred. God damn, nigga was trying to offer me that shit too. Yeah, never again. Shit, crazy hell, but I got what I wanted. No, I'm saying never again. I never question that. Oh, Nothing man. else you're doing. No, that that that. Whether it's facts or not, I'm just whatever. I seen you do magnificent shit. I owe you an apology. It was rough. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Cause I couple people like, man, you know, I seen the episode. You know, low said. No. Nigga shouldn't pay over the fifteen. I'm like, man, I ain't even playing. Right. You had to take a picture with him and shit. Yeah, I took a picture with him. You know, they kind of boosted it up a little right, bit. Right. They bought it for a price, took a picture, that was another price. <clears throat> I put it in a combo package. Right. You a good nigga. You know what I'm saying? They ain't look at it like that, but I did. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm like, they, I'm really selling the van for this. Right. Picture huh, for this. Right. Put it in the goggles. They bought the van, you know. They bought the picture in the van. In front of the van. Like. Right. Nigga, I mean, that be happy in a bit. I'm like, pocket on stupid. Right. But nah, I sold that bit. Word. Hey, what's up, man? What you doing with the car, man? I heard we you got, got, got a car show. show, man. Yeah, I'm trying to fuck with you on the car show. Man, I'm fucking with it, man. I know you I'm, got I'm in the car. I'm in the car. You can drop on that bitch. <laughs> well, that's kind of one of the things we discussed in the show is uh, my obsession with collecting cars. And, right. and, it's uh, an obsession. Nigga don't understand. It's an obsession. Yeah, so we really just trying to um, sort that out. And that's, that's gonna be one of the bases of the show. I got a few things in route that we're gonna be featuring on there. I really wanted to get your vet on there and put the, uh, the, the headlight motor. Oh, in for real? There. Hey, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Did you fix it for free on the show? I ain't say all that. I said I wanted to. <laughs> I can get it done. Uh, you gotta I, buy the yeah. motors, though. You buy the part, I can get the shit done. Man, you rich as I, fuck. I'm Stop acting like God. that. Damn, man. I'm acting doing like for the show, I'm gonna be on there doing my do DC it. shit. Like, oh, hello, everybody, get my light. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> fuck your dancing. This is not the time to be dancing, nigga. Nah, I'm not falling for that shit. All right, bro, damn. Yeah, we're gonna get you straight, though. Yeah, we got a lot of shit coming up on this. We got 80 vibes. We're gonna do season two, man. And I know you just dropped some more music. Yes, I know you just dropped some more music. Yes, sir. So we about to mean? go crazy, I man. Gotta, hey. I'm trying to go on ahead and get you locked in. Hey, like. man, I love 80 vibes, man. That shit was fun to hear. That was my first live band performed. Yeah. That shit was fun to fuck. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, that 80 vibe done kicked off so much that we have progressed and then broadened what we do. Right. And we got a platform that also brings artists on. Right to do they shit. They already fuck with us. Cool, we fuck with y'all too. Right. Get what? We made a goddamn platform for y'all nigga, nigga to come kick y'all shit. Right. Even though y'all might wanna go on stage and probably can't kick the one two that we do, but get what? We give y'all a platform to kick y'all shit where y'all right. can feel comfortable cause we really rock with y'all, you right. did. So 85, man, I love this shit, man. Right. You feel me? So keep doing this shit. And you people. know one thing we don't never stress enough, bro? We get so many views on our fucking videos and shit. Man, subscribe to the page. Please. I think this is the first time we didn't see this shit. What, subscribe to which one? To the YouTube. Oh, yeah, subscribe song. to the YouTube, man. Yeah. I thought they should know that shit. Nah, bro. Yeah. They just go on there and click 85. They just type it every time. No, 85. subscribe to that shit. Just 85. Well, Stop they... typing it if you subscribe to shit. Just pop the fuck up. Right. 85. Every time they open up, they got that computer. What you about to do? Shit, type in 85. All right. But we got people that are watching that shit every day. The old shit, the new shit. 
They but, watch them in order, then start all the way over. Man, I was watching this shit the other day with the one you were talking about. My balls, I have nothing left. <laughs> and my, what do you want from me? Man, I was crying at the house, Man, bro. these women would drain all your vitamins. That shit was too funny, bro. Be careful out here. I'm telling you. Yes, sir. I seen some shit, bro. What you got going on, man? What I got going yes, on? I got the sir. car show going on. Right. Uh, I'm trying to survive this goddamn pandemic. Right, right, right. Uh, we got this going on. We got the, we're going to launch the whole, whole new brand of this shit, right, man. Right, we got, right. we got all kind of cooking shows and music shit, comedy, sketch. Shit. We got, but you know, even though the world slowed down, we still getting some good ass phone calls. Right there. You know we're getting the liquor for real, the, the Carlos Bernard. Oh, for real? Yeah, I've been. We on the phone with these folks for real. That's why it's, we really going through the whole process to get this shit official. Oh, definitely. Yeah, we ain't trying to get no purpose. goddamn fifty bottles. We want this shit to be. We want motherfuckers drunk all around the world. Carlo Bernard gonna go crazy. I'm bro. telling you, bro. All over the world, shit. That shit. They gonna be drunk and fuck at the show. That right. don't mean get sloppy drunk. Right. But get drunk, but don't get sloppy. And you know I'm doing something I'm specific. I'm on that fucking Carlo Bernard, nigga. <laughs> Hey, bro, I you heard. You know I fuck with you. They gonna be like, sit down. I ain't no fucking sit down. Nigga, keep me fine, nigga. <laughs> yeah, you talking about? They call him fucking Bernard, nigga. <laughs> fuck with low. Do your shit, nigga. Right. All of that. So we still building the brand. We got a few surprises coming. You know, we hustling the hell out of this merch. Come on, man. Go get it, man. We got a lot of merch coming. Me and my uncle Rick James right here. Ricky! Yeah. Oh, that's who that was? That's Rick Jane. Who you thought it was? Shit, Don't Dave, say it. Dave Chappelle? You stupid motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even lying. I was Carlos like... one of the baddest motherfuckers ever. <laughs> one of my favorite comedians. One of the best joke telling, best looking motherfuckers there ever was. That, that nigga, that's a fucking genius. Boy. Exactly. That nigga Dave Chappelle a genius. That's really, he only understand that. That kind of like gave me the confidence that I got on stage when I went up after him in Lo in Los Angeles one day, yeah. I was like, nigga. I just went home like, nigga, I went up after Dave Chappelle. I went up after Who the fuck can say that? Right. You dig what I'm saying? And still, homie, I ain't saying nobody did better than no just I did. Me, nigga was like, boy, I see you where you be working. I'm like, nigga. Boy, let go. I'm that ready. shit happened let to go. me in LA. Let go. Let go. I was getting ready to do this shit. And then Chris Rock came. Right. That nigga did a fast 20 minutes, probably. Ooh. New shit. Ooh. All killer. Ooh. Blazed that bitch. I went right on, right up after him. Right, he already lit the fire. Man, standing O, <laughs> killed that bitch. What's the most legendary shit? Ever. Come what? on, man. Chris Rock? Chris Rock. That why, that, that, yeah, that, why, hosted, that, why, that why your ass go crazy on the That year he hosted the BET Awards. Mm. He had his new shit for that. Went crazy. Went crazy. That why you at. But see, you no know, nigga don't understand that that type of confidence, nigga. You don't get that off of just practicing like at the house. Uh -uh. You got to go spar on stage and that shit like boxing, nigga. You don't know who in the gym. Nigga might just walk in that bit. Oh, the champ is here. Shit, this no, he ain't. Cause I'm the champ. But what you, do you mean? But you, but you gotta understand That's how I'm though. Who the champ? We get this motherfucker cracking right here today. But you gotta understand though, you ain't been on the goddamn the big stages where this motherfucker at. You know what I'm saying? But nigga see, know your name. Right. But nigga, but you gotta understand, you been in this gym, you know this gym, you doing your shit, you doing your ah. Nigga know you, but then you nigga, the nigga walk in and get what? Get who he had a spa with. You, nigga. Oh man, I wanna, I wanna spa with you. You like, I don't wanna knock him out. Shit, I know he gonna try to he knock me out. He ain't gonna knock me out. I got the boy, shit. shit. And we really go, we got love for each other, but we end up going at it head to head, but that's how that comes to shit, right. bro. Cause that's, I feel like that's what this, the whole game is about. I don't give a fuck who go up before right. me. Cause they, if, if it's the most, if it's anything left. Right. Please. I'm finna get all of it. They better be dead or something. Put that motherfucker you on fire anyway. Yeah, you better be and kill all these, because if they able, they got something in that bitch for me. Yes, sir. I'm finna get it. Yes, sir. And I don't give a fuck who that, that's always gonna be the mindset. Yes, sir. Yeah, because you know, coming up and doing comedy in this bitch, it's a beast of, that could kill in the room. Nigga, once you, you, once you get on the stage and you have a show with headliners, it's different. Right. You know, I don't the show with comedian. Anybody, everybody tell a joke. You know, you have a, a selected show. It ain't nothing but headliners. Right. 
and everybody finna spank their ass. And I'm, I'm talking, talking and the about, host I'm talking about is, one of them ones where you look at the fly and be like, man, this liner, it don't matter who. It don't fuck. matter who first. Right. It don't matter who last. You know what I'm saying? That shit be making a nigga. But see, that's better, why I me? wanted to go first on the boogie shit. Because it's like, I know everybody on this motherfucker funny. They all funny. They all funny. But I want to go. go I want to get all my shit out the way. Go on, get them. I'm going to get, get, get they them ain't heard first. Shit. Yo, let me help. Ooh, better spank them over the head. Yo. They don't know who, who about to say anything. See, right. they don't even understand. It's a craft to this shit, too. When y'all out there, y'all ain't like going to a theater play. You don't know what the fuck going on. The first 20 minutes is really the exciting. Right. Because you like, what finna go on? Nigga, it's like a field trip. What finna go on? So they be turnt. So I love that shit. Yeah. I love that shit. Yeah, yeah, I just hate how now, like, with the technology, you can't really, like, work on no jokes. Right. Because motherfuckers. They put them out. They putting them out. They don't even understand you. that shit. They, you tell a joke, it's online. Nigga, nigga been working on that joke for a year and a half. Just like now, it's this meme that's going crazy off of one of my jokes that I did. You know the joke, the baby bird joke I do. When I was like, he gave the nigga the money. He was like, nephew, I kill all these motherfuckers. Right, 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 right. Like, right. this shit is verbatim. I'm like, nigga, how, how are people on my timeline that I know and follow going to post jokes that they know that I did? Hey, do you know what I did? You know what, you know what, you know what came with that? I felt comfortable when I heard somebody say my joke. I was like, ooh. Oh, I'm this low down with That's, this. That mean that was good enough for a nigga want to take it. This is how low down <laughs> I am. Like, God damn. I you want to say it better back. than a nigga? Go ahead. I would take my joke back. But yes. You, but you know what? It, it done got to the point where coming I think you told me this. It don't matter who said, can he say it like you? Exactly. That's why when I'm on the show with a nigga who I know still jokes and they do my joke, right. I'm doing my bitch. You gonna do it anyway. And I'm gonna do it better. Cause you didn't do this part and you don't know the tag. Cause you didn't write this shit. Right, you repeating right. it. But right. I really know this. Watch right. what I do. Right. Yeah, right. I mean, I'm finna spank this bitch. Ooh, right. I'm finna spank it. I'm finna, and then you done, you, you touched it, but you ain't spanking. And you know what's crazy? Ah! You know what's crazy, DC? <laughs> It's like, you know how you be on the show with motherfuckers? I have some shit that I won't do right. with certain, like if I'm on the show with a motherfucker, right. especially if it's some new shit and I know they ain't here, I'm like, nope. I'm gonna save it, cause you nope. know it gonna go somewhere else. Exactly. But see, niggas don't even know that it, it be all that going on with comedy. Like, yeah, that had me, but I done got to the point where I push that shit to the side and I just focus on being the best me. Where I'm like, all right, I'm on stage, Got a couple of jokes that I like. That's cool. I worked up for that. That's great. Once I start getting to my storytelling, and, and, and I, I got a segment in my in my uh, set. Once I start talking about me and my family, I'm like tunnel vision, nigga. Cause it's like I don't even give a fuck about nobody stealing this joke. Because first of all, this shit is authentic. It's mine. I wrote it. I literally wrote this. It's my life. You feel me? This is oh, my comedians brother. comedians don't give a fuck. It's my shit. So you I don't really give a fuck about a nigga stealing this shit. You can put your it's brother's name point. in the joke and the nigga steal it. But it's just to the point when hey, I'm man, about my to brother say Kevin, it. Kevin, this nigga crazy. What? Yeah, yeah. But it get to the point where I don't even give a fuck. It's just when I know I'm finna say it, I'm finna go crazy. But, but that's how you know you're great. If you want to know who a fucking great person that got stolen from a lot. Who that? That never complained. It's Biggie. You go on YouTube right now. They got a series of videos. It's like... These videos, it's like five videos. They're like 20 minutes a piece. And it's just rappers repeating his shit bar for bar. No. Like, all the way down to the apartment numbers. Like, these niggas really just stole all this man raps. No. Shit. I don't even be getting a fuck about that shit, because you the more person you get is your shit. Who got a blunt? Got a blunt? All right, man. It's getting late. Yes, it is. It's going to be hard to come up with some excuses while we out so late right now. So uh, we got to get the fuck out of here. I think we got a great session. DC Young Fly. What's the name of the new shit? Uh, Street Him. Mm-hmm. I got some shit with Fetty finna drop too, so. Fetty Wap? Yes, sir. Come on, man. Yes, sir. Watch yeah. this shit. I am. It's crazy. You said Fetty Wap, watch this. That is fucking amazing. <laughs> Do you see how jokes just write themselves? Ah. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Fetty Wap. That nigga been nigga. the dude. My nigga, hold it down. Congratulations on everything, shot, man, you know. Real bosses do real things. We're getting ready to take this money over here to this black ass bank. Oh, and we're taking Marvin Gaye everywhere we go. Marvin! What's going on? 
Hey, man, make sure you stay tuned, subscribe. The 85 South Show, it's your man Carlos <laughs> Miller. It's your boy right here, DC Young Fly, J-O-N. Give us some traveling music. We'll see y'all next time. We out this bitch. <laughs>